Let's see the start of the number 77th Brothers Real Cup. The first match is going to be Amato versus Yomizu. I am definitely looking forward to, uh, well, today's tournament because we have so many people today. It's going to be crazy over 52 to 53, I think, participants. So it is definitely a large scale tournament, not going to lie. Bedless is high tier. Yeah, I, I know. I, I played against him. Um, I played against him uh, actually the day before yesterday, I think it was. Well, during the uh, the, the, um, the tournament that uh, operated in Red Bull. And he's very, very strong indeed. Definitely looking forward to him. Shosankade, arigato gozaimasu, Torai san. Gabatte kudasai. Bedless is awake. Perfect. Hai, konbawa, Mato san. Gabatte kudasai. Hai, dekiru yo. Good evening, Kai. Yo, Charade, how are you doing? Let's rock indeed. And here we go with the first match going between Amato versus Shiomizu. Shiomizu's first participation, I do believe he's rocking a pretty mean bike and not gonna lie, but Amato is definitely no stranger to this character. He's been eating so many bikes. And as you can see, he's definitely making the best out of his character knowledge right now. Already taking advantage of a very... Oh lord, how is this? What's gonna happen? And here we go with Amato using the teleportation of the Scarecrow to catch Kyomi's off guard and take the first round quite convincingly. Notch going to lie. Shindama is here. Yay, Shindama, welcome. How are you doing? Message you and tell me. I'll thank you, Arturo. Let me check real quick. Uh, what is going on, Arturo? You messaged me, Tonma? Arturo. Did you? I don't see anything. Oh, uh, wait, one second. One second, one second. Arturo. One second, no? Huh? Are you sure you messaged I... Hmm? Are you sure you messaged me? Or to rest Ah, Sindama, okay, okay, my bad. I thought you, you messaged me, I'm dumb. Anyways, hi, Iroi-san. Eh, uh, sorry, I didn't have a chance to win, but I won a tournament. If I'm okay, I'm okay. Ah, Iroi-san, that's right. Eh, wait a minute. I'm probably okay. よね、今はちょっと待ってくださいね。えっと、ロイさんはもうトルクしたんですが。そうですね。あ、ロイさんごめんなさい。トルクはしていただいたんですけど、チェックインはちょっと間に合わなかったので、会いに行くちょっと本
How are you doing, man? How are you doing, Smoke community? As always, I hope you had a wonderful freaking stream with Smoip. But then again, it's with Smoip, so there's not many other alternatives, not going to lie. <laughs> but anyways, welcome here. If you guys uh, came from Smoip's stream, chances are that this is not the first time you were sent here for the raid. So, as always, welcome back, guys, and it's always a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, there's never a bad time in my show. <laughs> yeah, you see, if Smoive says it, it must be true. <laughs> but good stuff, man, Smoive. Hopefully, uh, you had a good time at your stream as well. And it's always a pleasure to have you, and uh, thank you again for the raid, man. Much appreciated. Here we go with Amato going for the overdrive. He's going to get the wall break. Kaboom! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord, and the Oni face from Biken. Okay, he's gonna get the hard knock down. Try to get the 6P, unfortunately. Xiaomi's was too quick to IAD out of the range of the uh, 6 it. P Oh my lord, the wake up overdrive! The wake up overdrive from a match of the disrespect of this man. The disrespect. And just like this. I'm about to take none other than a bedless versus Tatsuma. Tatsuma, who is also a very, very, very strong salt player. He has a salt player. Did I? I hope I didn't. I didn't mess up. Yeah, yeah, he's a salt player. Very strong salt player. He has been eliminating the likes of Daru Ino quite often, like twice in a row, actually, if I'm correct, in recent tournaments. So he is definitely not a slouch. Look forward to his performance against Bedless uh, because, uh, yeah, dude, both are definitely very strong uh, players. So let's see how this plans out. This Bloodless guy took so much of my money. He went to Japan, he better not lose. But the, where's my evil Japan tickets, Eric? <laughs> Do you have a price split agreement for uh, Evo? Okay, win more monthly. Prends une photo, tu nous mens, tu reviens quand? Ouais, j'avoue, il faut que tu reviennes là, les gars, putain. Yeah, anyways, here we go with the, the first round, and here we go with the air to air in favor of Tatsuma, who was able to juggle Bedless Sleeper. Tatsuma goes for a meaty on wake up, catches bed pressing buttons, goes straight for the Tyrant Rave for the hard knockdown. What is gonna be the mix? And a safe a jump on. On landing, unfortunately catches, I do believe catches Bedlist on his uh, backdash, but here we go with Bedlist going with the behemoth uh, pressure, goes for the jumping D. Oh no, no, he drops it, he drops it, but it's still okay, he still has the advantage, goes for the mine. No air to air here from Bedlist, this is so unfortunate, but oh lord, what was that, a forward purple Roman cancel Katatsuma. Sleeping right here. Oh, and he goes for the jumping D and a um a uh, how do you say? I do believe it's the forward S. I think. Please just tell me if it's not the case. But I think it's the forward. Anyways, here we go again with the jumping. Uh, the jumping D almost managed to get the full combo. Unfortunately, it was too far to get the full conversion. Okay, here we go with the far S from Tatsuma. Okay, one round of peace. Who's going to take it? Good lord, and here we go, behemoth time! You have to hold it, biatch! <laughs> and the wake up DP from Tatsuma gets out of the corner! And here we go, full combo is gonna get the wall break! Yes, she is! And the Kutaba Ray from Tatsuma! Okay, who's gonna take it? Tatsuma does have the advantage! He doesn't have the RC, man! For the extension, he could have killed if he did! And here we go, the double grab and the juggle with the mind! This is gonna kill! Good lord! Good lord! Good lord! And bent less a sleeper! Oh no, doesn't take it! The proration was too high because of the grab. And here we go, no, the beam and the wake up rave is just gonna- No, too far, but it's still okay! He uses the freaking Roman Castle to extend the reach and he gets the kill with the revolver! Good lord! I thought, like, it would- it, It's been like a freaking ping pong match, man. I thought one was gonna- was gonna win, then the other takes back the momentum. I thought he was gonna win, and then at the end, Tazma managed to take it. That was a full ping pong game right there. Okay, Bedlist down one game, but it's definitely not uh, a fatality. It is not a destiny. Bedlist still has the opportunity to bring it back. And here we go with some freaking Dragon Ball Z Budokai uh, BGM that we all like. And here we go with the jumping bedless sleeper. Almost gets the full conversion, but a little bit too far to get it. And here we go with the match. Not the match, but the challenge right there from bedless. And gets the juggle with the minigun. And he doesn't get the wall break. Here we go with bedless trying to go for a grab. Good lord. Oh, and the aerial. The aerial behemoth catches Tatsuma in the air. Ah, he wants to keep Tatsuma in the corner, as you can see. Oh, and here we go. Tatsuma gets out of it using the revolver. Roman gets into the wild throw. 
Good lord! Oh, again! Here we go with that! Oh, the mix up! Oh, what are you gonna do? Don't get hit! Don't get open! He got open! This is gonna be dead! Is this gonna kill you? No, he drops it! Are you serious? That's what I want to know! Good lord! Good lord! Too many drops! No! And he catches the back dash with the minigun! Unfortunately, not enough to kill. This is going down to the wire. He goes for the main gun, and unfortunately, Tatsumatsu's DP is in the air and falls right on the bowlage. Oh, Tatsumatsu feels so bad about it. This is so unfortunate. That being said, you're going the oh, the things throw. Good lord, good lord, you hate to see it. Okay, a, a random, not a random. I'm gonna say a, uh, a a wild behemoth gets unfortunately hit by Tatsuma, and the corner pressure is real. A very nice instant block right there from Bidless, right in the air. Oh no, he almost got the freaking the freaking juggle off of his uh, 4S. Okay, here we go, the 6S right there from Tatsuma tries to go underneath uh, the mine using the Vortex. Very nice 6P counter hit right there from Tatsuma, gets a full juggle. Ah, catches the back dash attempt from Bidless, sleep and this shit kill. Kaboom, get out of here. Good stuff from Tatsuma. Leading currently one match and managed to get a round right there. So if he wins this one, he's gonna get a FT lead. Let's see how this pans out. And somebody call me. Just one second, please. Yep. Mm. No, uh, no message from me. From that. <laughs> okay, sorry for the wait. And here we go with Tatsuma taking it the second round, the second match as well, taking a hefty lead right now. What is Bedless gonna do? What is Bedless gonna do? Okay, let me check real quick. Everything's going fine, I think. Hopefully, it is. Yeah, things are going fine. Of this stuff. Okay, everything good. And here we go with the tick throw from Tatsuma. Oh, manages to get to bait that gold burst right there. Gold burst from Gold Blue is gonna get Tyrant Rave out of here right there. What's gonna be the mix from Tatsuma? Goes for the safe jump. We got the tick pressure again in the corner. And he goes for a freaking wild throw setup right there with a perfect. Nothing less as expected from Tatsuma. Very nicely done. Oh my lord, and that's part of the round with a huge behemoth counter hit right here, right in the nose of Tatsuma. Again with the behemoth, trying to keep Tatsuma out of range. Oh no, unfortunately. Oh, almost hit Tatsuma out of the air right there. A little bit too far though. Uh oh, and here we go with the mine. Tatsuma finds the opening on the jump. From the jump. Okay, back to neutral, and very nice with punish right there from Bed Sleeper. Probably wanted to get out of the corner though, and here we go, he has to hold it. Oh lord, Tatsuma, very nice entire re yet again from him. Uh, and again with the just block right there, instant block. Oh lord, here we go, you have to hold it. Oh uh, yeah, the behemoth rush is real, and here we go with the DP from Tatsuma, he's gonna get the, the side switch. And also gonna get the wall break, very nicely done. Okay, what is going to be the rest? Bedless does have a hefty uh, lead, and he's gonna take it, yes, with the OTG, using a V Behemoth for the kill. Very nicely done. Let me tell you what is going to be the rest. Let's see, Gunflame, Gunflame. Do not jump on me. Oh, no! What are you trying to Behemoth right there? You cannot Behemoth projectile. Anyways, here we go. Ah, yeah, Bedless trying to look for that DP. Try to get a very nice, uh, a very, very, um, yeah, very interesting juggle, I suppose. And look at this! Good stuff from Bedlitz. Here we go. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. Oh, Lord. And Tatsuma get open. His life hanging by a thread. Bedlitz can bring it back. He needs to be careful, though. Yeah, Tatsuma and Sol for that uh, is a very... Oh, Lord. And the minigun. What are you bringing? A sword to a minigun fight. Bedlitz takes the fourth round. Very nice. Uh, fourth match, actually. Bedlitz still not out of there. He can definitely make the comeback, if anything, he is a very, very strong Gold Lewis player. I believe in him, but Tatsuma is definitely no slouch himself. As I have mentioned before, he has been rocking it in tournaments, Japanese tournaments lately. So definitely no slouch. 
Oh, good lord. And here we go with the jump in. Oh, that connected. That was a real combo, by the way. And here we go with the DP and the block strings from Tatsuma. Unfortunately for Bedless, he tried to 6-speed the, uh, the Fafnir. But, as you know, the range of the 6-speed of Gold Lewis is not very, very good. It was a little bit too far to uh, have it connect. And here we go. Yeah, Bedless trying to check the advances from Tatsuma. And Tatsuma again on point on the 6-speed, man. Here we go. You have to come here. Come here. <laughs> Oh lord, you hate to see it! Almost got the kill, no! And the well throw! Using the RC. Uh, using the RC to cover the ground. No, using the vortex and then RC out of it and wild throw right away. That was a masterful from Tatsuma Tatsuma on game point. Set point, actually. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. Good lord! I oh, have to hold it. Oh, Bedless Sleeper just jumping casually over the gun flame. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, the forest. You hate to see it. Oh, and he got over by the, he got opened by the revolver trying to bait that burst. But yeah, Bedless not giving it to him. Finally, Bedless finding the timing to uh, pop the burst. Oh, Lord, he got for the cross up. What the hell is that? Good Lord. Here we go. The, uh, the behemoth pressure. And again with the 6 man Tatsuma has been, has been on point with this. He hasn't dropped a single 6 man Fine, here we go. Yeah, that is a D mix up you hate to see. And this should be. No, not it. Good Lord. Tatsuma. Tatsuma. Oh, and the 6 p again, man. How prover proverbial right there for Tatsuma to. Oh, the latest. Anyways, here we go. Pirate King Jr. versus Hagiara Pirate King rocking a mean, probably a mean chip. I do not recall Pirate King uh, uh, um, playing in previous uh, in previous Brojo Cups, so uh, we'll see, we'll see, I guess. Anyways, here we go with the start of the round, and already Pirate King makes his way out of the corner. Was uh, was about to get cornered by uh, Hagiara himself, but he managed to uh, fight his way out of it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sorry guys, I just need to check this way. <clears throat> okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, anyways, and here we go with the Suki Banzai from Pirate King. He's trying to open it. I get up. He finally managed to find the opening. Good lord, and thank you very much for the follow, Raging Ravioli. Welcome to the Brojo. And Yuki, welcome back. How are you doing? Okay, here we go. Finally, Hagiara finds uh, the momentum back, tries to keep Pirate King in the corner, but Pirate King makes his way out and unfortunately gets scooped by the minion. Here we go. Oh, no! And oh, Lord! And the, the golden burst! The golden burst was baited! Okay, and here we go with Hagiara, man. Good lord. Good lord, good lord. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. Hagiara using the RC to uh, keep Pirate King off of him. Right, you can fight the opening forces. I get to pop the burst. What the hell? What the hell happened? Oh, he's the clone. I was bamboozled. And here we go with Pirate King takes the kill with the jumping 2K. Very nicely done. We check the bracket real quick, guys. Really sorry. We have a lot of people today, so obviously I need to keep things under control. Uh, yes, we are good. We are good. We are good. Okay, we're good. And here we go with the positive bonus from Hagiara, trying to get the kill right there. He does have a winning uh, condition right now, and my lord, the DP in the block strings. Here we go, Pirate King trying to open Hagiara up. Hagiara not letting it down. Wants to keep the uh, yeah, wants to keep the YRC just in case. Find the opening. Try to bait the burst, but Pirate King was very very respectful. Get in. You resort to using it, but he gets scooped by the 2K2D from Hagiara. Good second round for Aguila takes it. Finding you, I'm here for the Sukiyaki. Well, you're gonna get a lot of Suki Sukiyaki gaming right there. I do believe there are uh, quite a number of chip players today. So hopefully they'll do very well in this tournament. And you'll see lots of them. That is all I can wish for you. <laughs> and here we go. They take pressure from Pirate King trying to push Hagiara ever so slightly in the corner. Here we go, Hagiara. Ah, still resorting to block. Block, block, but look. Oh, finally gets open. Ah, uh, Hagiara still blocking. He's been blocking for most of this match and finally gets opened. He's gonna do a lot of damage, all things considered. Chip doesn't do any damage. <laughs> That's what they said. Having said, oh, here we go, Hagiara. Finally, oh my lord. Finds the conversion with the 5H. Very nicely done. And here we go. This is minion time. You have to hold it. Have to hold it. Have to hold it. Oh, lord, what? Pirate King the first and takes it, man, with the most clutches 
the clutchest way possible. Good stuff. I really thought he was, he was done for right there because of the minions on the, the screen with uh, Hagata having the burst as well. But he used his RC extremely well right there. Um, used the RC in order to bait the burst from Hagata. Found the perfect timing to do so. And just took it. Just took it, man. That was extremely well done by uh, Pirate King Hagata. That being said, he is definitely no slouch either. He definitely felt it. Oh, and here we go with the grab. He goes this immediately in the Illusion Driver for the kill. Not even giving the opportunity for Pirate King to pop the burst. Good stuff from Hagiara. Manages to take a quick first round of the second match. Let's see if he can continue in this specific uh, in this specific way. We shall see. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord. Here we go, take pressure from Pirate King, unfortunately a badly timed grab right there from Hagiara. Uh, makes it so that Pirate King was able to get out of the corner. And he, uh, at least, uh, yeah, at least Hagiara had a good burst timing. Good lord, oh, uh, and here we go, immediately Pirate King cancelling into the overdrive for uh, the hard knockdown. What is gonna be the, oh, uh, what is gonna be the mix? And here we go, lord, where are you, where are you, where is Chip? Where is Chip? Who needs to have low health when your opponent can't hit you? Anyways, very nicely done. Uh, just once again, let me check. If you're good. If you're good. Everything is going well. Losers, uh... Uh, Blitzkrieg and Unga Boonga, can you start your math, please? Sora. <clears throat> okay, here we go with the jump in from Pirate King. And here we go with the uh, kill from Hagiara manages to take uh, the uh, second round this time around. Mm. Let me check here as well. Yeah, some players haven't started their matches, so... Okay. Did not and Hakuman were able to uh, make their matches, so it's perfect. You see a uh, four blue stick and the boom up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, and anyways, here we go with the tick pressure. And here we go ahead, Pirate King. Oh, almost got the kill right there, but it was just a matter of seconds for I gotta take it out of the pressure and turn the situation around using the Evil IRC. That was really, really good. Yeah, Blitz is, uh, Blitz Priest is in uh, there indeed. Okay, here we go with uh, the kill by Hagiara manages to take the first round of this third match. I think he is. I'm pretty sure he is. I think I saw a Megane. Megane. I don't know if it's 9 3 though, but I did see uh, a Megane participating. Definitely. Okay, let's see. Mm, this is good. Just, yeah, let me real quick check. Uh, okay, good. I'm, I just really need to check uh, if everybody is doing their matches right now. <laughs> They're doing their homework or not. I'll be back to... Okay, there we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, Shoki and Takasiro as well. Yes, we're good. Okay, everything good. Fine. I'm very sorry for the for the gaps in my in my commentating. Uh, it's just that I have to ch uh, check the bracket regularly. We don't want to have any downtime uh, regarding bracket uh, continuation. So yeah, I have to keep an eye on it. Anyways, we're going to 2K2D from Hagiara manages to get the knockdown push his Pirate King in the corner. A very nice 6 feet right there. Unfortunately, Pirate King did find his way out of the corner. This is definitely not something I get. I want it. Uh, I get it. Ooh, very nice check right there with the 2 K. Tries to, uh, try to, uh, tries to hit Pirate King using the minion. Finds the opening right there. Unfortunately, Pirate King uses the YRC to get out of the pressure. 
And here we go with Hagiala. Gets the kill with the OTG very nicely done. Hagiala taking the lead right now. Bringing it back. Oh, good lord. And the trade right there. Oh, lord. Another trade. Okay, Pirate King continuing the pressure in the corner. Uses the RC to extend his combo. Well, his pressure, actually. Oh, lord. Goes for dust, but probably wanted to grab. So gets the knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Unfortunately, gets uh, uh, gets hit by the burst. Very nice juggle right there using the uh, the minion. Okay, minion pressure on. You have to hold it. Have to hold it. Very nice checks right there from Hagiara. Manages to prevent Pirate King. Oh Lord! And even got the burst. What you what you can do to me, I can do better. Good stuff from Hagiara. Takes the lead. Here we go. And then Ula, his name is a little bit out of focus. May I say? Uh, just one second. Okay, here we go. This is better. This is way better. So next match is gonna be none other than Mega versus Yoshi. Sorry for didn't check in in time. No problem, ball. Next time, next time this year. The next time is gonna be perfect. It's okay. It's not the last Rojo Cup. You'll definitely have your chance to participate to other ones as well. But thank you very much for still uh, taking the time to register. That this is more than uh, it's. It really warms my heart. <laughs> thank you very much, man. See you next uh, Rojo Cup. Okay, and here we go on to the next battle. It's gonna be none other than Megane versus Yoki. Let's see how this pans out. Yet another Biken. I think this is like the third Biken that I know for a fact is a Biken player. Because we do have Kuni Biken as well tonight. We did have uh, previously, I fail to remember exactly who that was. We do have Stella. We have Shiomiza as well. So we have a lot of Biken representation tonight. So let's see how this pans out, anyways. A very nice whip punish right there from Yoki. Wants to keep Megan in the corner. Gets a grab. A big one. <laughs> Sorry for being picked up. Uh, okay. A big one. Ça va très bien. Ça va bien. Uh, C'est très très pour les vos Japan. Ah, et moi donc, et moi donc. Et moi donc, monsieur, ça va être génial. Hein? On, est, on va avoir tellement de monde là-bas qui vont participer. Surtout qu'on a pas mal de représentations internationales aussi. Donc c'est sûr que ça va être un, ça va être un, un tournoi vraiment énorme. Là, je suis sûr, j'en suis sûr, euh, sûr et certain. That being said, here we go with the corner pressure from Yoti. Goes for the pressure with the grab. Goes for another grab. Megan is still respecting the uh, the pressure. Ripped my Japanese Japan dinner with a friend. Took too long to do. No problem, Zij. Next time, next time. And oh lord, and that big direct like counter hit did a lot of damage. Gets the uh, 2S uh, confirm and 2 kill. Come on, even gets the freaking burst. Yoshi, man, Yoshi with a quick one to zero. Gets every single read in the book. Very nicely done by Yoshi. Definitely not over till it's over, though. There is still a chance for uh, for Megane to make a comeback. We shall see. That means that we're going to big 6P counter hit. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the juggle off of it. Yoshi goes again for the grab. Very nicely done again. He tries to go for the grab this time around. Megane says, hell no. You grab me like 10 million different times. I'm not letting you grab me anymore. Goes for the safe jump. We go to the corner pressure. Ah, tries to get this to HS, unfortunately. Yoti uh, was out of range. Oh, he got the burst again, and Yoti getting that crispy combo. Goes for the... Gr oh, he might have had the kill with the red the lightning. I have no idea. The being said, here we go. He goes for the late the blue Roman cancel. Gonna, oh, Lord. Oh, very nice. RC right there from Megan. That was death. He gets the forest counter hit. Not enough to kill, obviously. Definitely a big life deficit in Yoti goes for the quick dust for uh, the kill. A quick first a second round as well. Uh, first round of the second match as well. That being said, it's not over till it's over. Megane can make a comeback. We all believe in him. Believe in the power of Biken. Good lord. There we go with the closest. Closest. Oh lord, and the mash. Megane trying to get out of the corner, man. But yeah, Yoti won't let him. I won't let you get up. Here we go. The RTW almost gets the juggle. Finds the opening with the lows. Goes for a quick dust. Unfortunately, not enough tension bar to get the Roman cancel extension. Here we go with the Kabari. That was a for Oh, Lord. He knows his combo. He knows his What the fuck was that? Good luck, Kabari combos. But not from Biken, <laughs> unfortunately. Here we go with the Fudradar and the match. It'll actually be the trade in favor of uh, Yoki this time around. And Yoti with a quick second that match as well. Takes a free hefty lead, not going to lie. What is Megan going to do? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? We shall see. Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie. Okay, here we go with the extension combo from Yoti. Goes for the max damage. Unfortunately, the wall was bound to break sooner or later. And that was way too soon for Yoti to get the uh, full max combo. 
Ah, here we go with Mega and he gets the grab here. Ah, and this is the mix-up that nobody can <laughs> freaking block. Okay, we got a close for a very nice combo. Oh lord, why was that the big cross up from me and Megan? That was sick. That was sick. That was really sick. Oh no, here we go with the tick. Tata Mega Ichi for the for the mix. Oh, gets the twitches. This should be enough. Full combo from Megan. It brings it back. He was on the verge, man, of losing this round, but he brought it back with a very cool fake cross up Yozansen. That was sick. Actually, it was a cross up Yozansen. But uh, for the fake non-cross-up Yozon say might say. That being said, yo team man, definitely not happy to have lost this one. What? Was that BRC? Yeah, it was. He did BRC to make it so that he was not gonna cross up and then did forward. Uh, he canceled the uh, the, uh, the the quick BRC into Yozon Sen so that he got the cross-up in the end. That was really sick, man. That was really sick. Ah, man. Anyways, here we go with uh, the uh, third round of this uh, third match. Uh, this is actually set point for UT. Oh lord! Megani gets the freaking burst page! Uh, the, the DP bait, I'm sorry. Good lord, look at the damage! Look at the damage! Oh, and again, UT waking up with DP doesn't give an F. And he goes for the stun dipper. <gasps> no, you hate to see it! No, not like there's a double DP! What the hell? That's a disrespect from UT! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Wait for it, yeah, UT, man! UT so. So patient! So patient! Megane tried to bait him 10,000 different times! Oh no! Is this gonna be enough? That was crazy, man! The DPs, man! But Yoti had all the correct reads! That was like... Oh no! No, are you serious? The double freaking KO, yo! That was the final round! Oh, that was crazy! Holy freaking lord, Yoti, man! Oh, that was so sick! That was so sick! Double double KO! That was so sick! Okay, here we go with Megane man, he doesn't wanna die, he doesn't wanna die! Oh good lord! Good lord! Oh you got the sun never fights the opening! Megane getting juggle left and red! Oh good lord! Ah oh, here we go with the wake up match from Megane man! Oh gets the Yos on Sen! Oh drops the combo though! You hate to see it! Ah gets it by counter hit! Yoti! Ah Yoti I can smell the DP! I can smell the DP! Oh, gets the jump in! Is it gonna be enough? And they got it with the full freaking combo! Wait, but the stun the bird! Stun the bird! Stun the bird! Stun the bird! I called it! What is gonna happen? I'm out of breath! I'm gonna die! Oh no, he's got pretty quick dust! Yo, the DP was a kill! Yo, the DP master, man! We are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Joker Slayer versus a Gliri. Korea versus China. Let's see how this takes off and pans out. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, and here we go, Joker Slayer already taking- Oh, almost a hit, but it was thanks to the guts of Xeri, he was able to live through it. Finds the opening with the uh, sweep. Gonna get a pretty hefty- Oh, Lord, and the is out! Unfortunately, there he did it. Oh, no, he tried to go underneath the mine, but the mine, yeah, he probably mistimed it. Probably was possible, I think. But I think that uh, Joker Slayer was looking for it, because he blocked it, obviously, so... But very nicely done from Zeri. Oh. Uh, with my. Okay, okay we're good. Anyways, here we go with uh, the take pressure. Uh, the, the corner pressure, unfortunately, for uh, Joker Slayer. Zeri finds his way out. And it's the time of Joker Slayer to get pressured. He finds the way out of the corner, though. Okay, back in the neutral. 
Ah, oh, wow, and that air to air in favor of Larry, man. That was very nicely done. Goes for the extension using the RC. He's probably gonna get the kill. Yes, he does. Okay, Xeri bringing it back one round of Pisu is going to take uh, the last round, the most important one, in order to take the match. Here we go, the Tokutsuge keep pressure, man. You hate to see it. Look at Slayer getting hit by every single dolphin under the sun. <laughs> Again, with the Tokutsuge keep very nicely done. Get back to neutral. Yeah, Joker Slayer trying to find his way out of the corner, finds it, goes for the fake cross up. And uses the RC to get the extension, forcing Xeri to pop the burst. Here we go with the closest pressure. Ooh, yeah, no! And here we go with the grab from Xeri. He is on a roll and he baited the overdrive. This is not gonna hit. Very nicely done by Xeri. He's gonna get a full combo. Look at the damage and you dead. <laughs> Good stuff from Xeri. Takes the first match. By the sound, the, the, this round was pretty um, pretty one-sided, not gonna lie. But Joker Slayer definitely not out of it. He definitely can make a comeback. We shall see. Only time will tell. Oh lord, the very bad start of the round right there from Joker Slayer gets countered right at the start. Okay, they're trying to find the opening. Trying to pressure Joker Slayer and the badly time 6P right there gets, uh, gets uh, stuffed by the jumping D from Joker. Oh, they're finding the opening with the sweep. Uh, and the Joker just just holding on to his, uh, his DP. Not his DP, his burst. Uh, the air to air yet again by Zeri. He's been on point with it, not gonna lie. Joker Slayer uh, getting out of the corner using the mine. Oh, no entires. Then again, entiring May is not an easy feat. Goes for No, Lord, a badly time jumping edge. You hate to see it. Gets grabbed on his way down. Very nicely done, like there you go. Nice uh, awareness. Here we go, the forest. The trade in favor of Joker Slayer. Could put a little bit of distance between him and May. Here we go. Oh, Lord, and the match, man. Oh, no, and the Goldverse has been baited, man. Xeri on a roll, man. Everything going his way. And goes for the empty low. Finds the opening. Kaboom, you have to hold it. Oh, what is this? Good lord, and here we go, the 4S, man. Zo Joker Slay going. Yeah, has to mash, man. He had to mash out of this pressure. Okay, what is the mix? No, oh, and the one who had to run up grab. Is this gonna be enough? It is, it is. Yeah, yeah, this is death. Bye bye. Good stuff from Zeri, man. Takes the lead, man. 2 to 0. What is Joker Slay gonna do? What is he gonna do? Die, Shori. Dual 1. Yo, again, here we go on to the next battle. And a trade. This is an unfortunate trade, by the way. We go to four. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Freaking counter hit on the behemoth. Oh, he got hit. Oh, what is. Oh, here we go, man. Lord, Xeri, man, going completely ham. Going left, right, left, right. Okay, oh, and the jumping key. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the conversion right there. Yeah, Drew Chrysler, seeing I'm tired of your bullshit, stop. Stop. Oh, and Lloyd gets the conversion off of this. Is it even possible? Goes for this play cross up. Tried to get the kill. And gets the kill with the jumping D. Very nicely done, man. Both freaking players going completely and by Shori. Nagori Mugi san, o genki de shouka. Here we go, the close behemoth. Oh, Lord, and the counter hit on the behemoth. There we go. You're in behemoth's time. What are you going to do? Good Lord, here we go. The overhead, double overhead. Oh, good lord, I am catching the repressing button. This is gonna cost him the match. Very nicely done by Joker Slayer. Finally puts one on the board. The pressure. The pressure. Fair pressure. Fair pressure, man. It is. It is, it is. Imada! De bandana. Okay, here we go with uh, the pressure. Okay, and uh, Xeri getting the grab. Ah, find the opening with the empty low. Ah, that was a badly timed meeting right there from uh, Xeri gets grabbed by Joker Slayer. Wow, Joker Slayer going ham, going three times in a row with the overhead. Here we go with the grab. Oh, goes for the fake cross up and opens Joker Slayer up, forcing him to pop the burst. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, there's, oh my lord. Oh, and the Toshigeki counter hit. And Xeri going for the extension station. Is this gonna. No, it's not! <gasps> no, I think it's okay. Xeri should have blocked it in time. But yo, here you go! Joker had another bar to make it safe. Goes for again for the go! Oh, this is cross up! And he goes for the cross up this time around for the kill. Very nice awareness from Joker Slayer. Bringing it back, man. Coming back from death. 
Lady Scrab, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. And QO, it's got a... And here we go with Ziri, man. Oh, having the corner pressure. And Joker Slayer popping that for S for a Abari. Oh, good lord. Oh, lord. And ca catching Ziri, trying to get out of pressure right there. Got the juggle. Good luck, Aspen. No problem, lady. Thank you very much for participating today. Much appreciated. Yeah, here we go with the behemoth, man. Yeah, boom. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Nope, no one home. Ah, and they're finding the whip punish. That was sick. Okay, here we go. Joker Slayer not out of this yet. Didn't use his RC to get the kill, though. And he gets a kill with the behemoth, followed by the stump. Joker Slayer coming back from the dead. Two to two. He's not out of it yet, guys. He's not, he's not. You have to believe. You have to believe. Okay, Ziri. Also not out of this yet. This can go either way. Two rounds apiece. This is a perfect tie. Frank and I see the racket, guys. It's uh, exclamation point followed by bracket. And you'll have a uh, page. The bot will uh, will uh, guide you to it right away. Hey, I get, I'll do it for you as well. There you go. Here we go. Bracket. Double bracket. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the, oh, here we go with that overhead, uh, he's really trying to get out, but man, the pressure is just too much, and he gets grabbed, what is Ziri gonna do, the stomp, oh, Lord, nice to bar it, oh, okay, Ziri got out of it, finds the opening with the 2k2d, Totsugeki, again, Totsugeki, oh, here we go with the air to air, Ziri has been rocking this, but this time around, he is in the corner, this is not looking pretty for him. Here we go with the uh with the gold Lewis pressure man you hate to see it. Okay, here we go. Xiri finding the opening. Doesn't want to get jump deed on. For obvious reason. Oh no, here you go the jumping D again. Good stuff from Joker Slay on the verge of taking this set. What is Xiri gonna do? What is he gonna do? Here we go to get cool. Oh air to air in favor of Xiri gets the corner pressure. But then again. Joker Slayer has been able to get out of this corner pressure very often. Ah, the Tutsugiki catching the back dash. You can see it. Oh, Lord. Yeah, stay there. Oh, Lord. And the quick RC cancel. But yeah, Joker Slayer's defense is too good. Oh, Lord. Finally gets out of the corner using the aerial behemoth. And again, Joker Slayer with the perfect Abari timing. Ah, forcing Zero to pop the birds. This time around, it's minigun time. Trying to eat away at uh, Xiri's bar currently oh lord joker slayer's mobility has been pristine man it's crazy oh lord here we go to the 6p he goes for the overhead it's not gonna be able to uh, enough to kill it's gonna do a lot of damage but not nearly enough to kill and here we go with alisagawa san it can go either ways joke oh no and here we go and there he gets the kill this is going down to the wires yo marisa how are you doing Good lord. Oh, catches his back dash with the 6k. Oh, forces Joker Slayer to pop the burst. That being said, here we go with the mine. Oh, the air to air. Almost. Joker Slayer had the correct read, but unfortunately, Ziri was out of range to get hit. Out of the air. Oh, again, Totsugeki to try to catch his back dash. No, oh, Ziri going ahead. Goes for the empty low cross up. Man, he goes for the overhead. The kids do not enough to kill. Could have gotten the kill. And he goes for the overhead this time around. There's gonna be enough to kill. Ziri takes it by the skin of his teeth. Very yeah, the Zato, the Zato character selected, but he changed to Leo probably because of the matchup, I guess. I have no idea whether like the the I have no idea if the like uh, the the Zato versus Jacko matchup is in favor of Jacko. It might be the case though. But I have no idea. That being said, here we go with Daiwa rocking that mean Leo. Let's see how this pans out. Lord, here we go with the tech. Very nicely done by Daiwa. Tries to get the jump in. <clears throat> okay, sorry for the wait, guys. I still need to keep an eye on brackets. Let's just see if nobody is calling me. And the first match goes. Uh, the first round goes for to Daiwa. The side, side the okay, we're good. We're good. 
Okay, things are going well. Yeah, things are going well. We're good. Okay, anyways, here we go with the next battle, and Iowa getting that burst bait very nicely done. Iowa on the verge of taking this first match. Let's see if Broken Fall unfortunately gets hit by the Quick Dust, and the first match goes very quickly to Daiwa. Very nicely done. Let's see if Broken managed to bring it back, or if he is going to be overwhelmed by the sick pressure of uh, Daiwa. We shall see. Nice grab from Bro. Get hits uh, Daiwa out of his DP. Oh no, anti air right there, unfortunately for Bro. He gets the tick pressure using the minions. Oh, and that was a badly time grab right there, and Daiwa finds the opening. <gasps> no way! He's gonna get the bait on the overdrive from Bro. This is very unfortunate for Bro. He's gonna get well broken into positive bonus. Very nice for HS. Uh, actually, that was the. Uh, that was the 4S, I guess? Yeah. And here we go, DOTG! Bro gonna get the juggle into the Elysian Driver for the kill! Good stuff from Bro, definitely not out of this yet. The first round of the second match goes to Bro. Oh lord. Okay, Daiwa gets kicked right there with the. Oh, the soccer, the soccer kick from Jacko. Uh, bro gets the corner pressure, goes for the grab. Very nice tech from Daiwa, and immediately goes to, into the Illusion Driver. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, no, too far to wild break, you hate to see it. Very nice air grab right there from Bro. That was very low to the ground, not gonna lie. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord! Bro getting hit by the projectile. And you can see Daiwa trying to look for that shimmy right here. Again with the tech, man. Daiwa has been 10 on 10 with the tech. And just like this, actually, Bro manages to take this time around the match with the Quick Dust. <laughs> you do me, I do you better. <laughs> Good stuff from Bro. Oh, Lord, but gets hit by the forest counter hit. Oh, Daiwa looking for reactions before committing to any sort of pressure. Virtually gets hit by Bro and then is forced to pop the burst. Oh, that back dash though, that was really cheeky from Bro. Gets still hit by the follow up. K from Daiwa. Oh, here we go. The oh, Roman cancel manages to get the aerial grab and again with the grab for the kill. Good stuff. I like that his name is just Bro. Exactly. <laughs> He's out just Bro. This is Bro, man. That's all you need. <laughs> Very nice grab right there from Bro. <laughs> Oh, okay, he tried to beat that DP, I'm sure. Fortunately, Daiwa is not giving it to him. And again with that freaking... Oh, Lord! That grab of uh, the Zvite right there with Schmexy from Bro. He's gonna get the Elysian into potentially the wall break. Ah, uh, not close enough, but still manages to get the extension using the RC for a guaranteed kill. Very nicely done. Yeah, definitely better than GG player. Yeah, again with the tech, man. Daiwa has been 10 on 10, like, 10 on 10 on his, uh, on his tech timing, man. Bro has been unable to grab him for the life of him, it's crazy. Oh, lord! Here we go with that DP combo from Daiwa. Tried to go for the overhead, but Bro was mashing, and rightfully so. And Bro manages to punish his DP with the Elysian Driver into the kill and takes the lead 2-0. to zero. Actually, sorry, it's actually like this, yeah. One to two right now in favor of Bra. Is Daiwa gonna make a comeback? We shall see. Oh, ah, Daiwa is gonna switch to Zato. We have a character switch, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. This is not my final form. This is what Daiwa is telling him right now. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be Zato action right here. Zato, Zato, yes it is. Zato Daiwa. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the follow, Thrifty Cook. Oh my lord. 350. 350 co-profiles. Co 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 350 co-profiles. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the bro. Here we go with that freaking Zato. Unfortunately, gets killed immediately by the projectile of bro. Okay, this is some Zato time. Unfortunately, gets hit by the minion and, also, and already escorted into the corner. Oh no, that was a huge 6H. You hate to get hit by it. Now, Daiwa forced to pop the burst. Oh, good lord. Oh, no. Bro, definitely knowledgeable regarding that particular matchup. You can see it. You can feel it. Ah, uh, Daiwa, man. Trying to send Eddie towards Bra, but yeah, man. Bro, not letting him. Oh, right. Almost got that aerial grab. Here we go. This is the corner pressure that everybody loves. 
to be fair, both characters have extremely strong corner pressure. And here we go, the close ace. Counter hit. For the most part, into the wall break. <gasps> and he gets the shimmy off of the Roman cancel. Daiwa not out of this yet. He takes the lead for this particular match. Let's see how this spins out. Good pikes right there from Daiwa. He's gonna get the wall break. No, he just wants to get the corner pressure. And unfortunately for him, Raw took this opportunity to get some pressure of his own and reverse the momentum. <gasps> he gets the far ace. Oh, okay, here we go. This is ah uh, fuzzy time. No. Now it goes. Oh no! Unfortunately for him, and he gets uh, dispatched because of the aerial fireball from Bra. Bra gets the grab. Oh, and goes for the cross up and gets the kill. We are on set point. What is Bra gonna do? What is Daiwa gonna do? We shall see. Again with the forest. There we go. You are going straight to the corner. There is nothing you can do. And here we go, Daiwa. Daiwa man resetting the pressure with the cat with the, the command grab. He goes for a quick dust into a uh, combo uh, quick dust for the opening and forces Bra to pop the burst. Very nice grab right there from Dai. Unfortunate uh, grab timing though from Bro. Lose a little bit of momentum. That being said, yeah, here we go. Eddie is back. Oh, and that confirm off of the 2P counter. The, the 2P and 2D. Roman cancel. Oh, Lord, what was that? You, <laughs> congratulations, you played yourself. Good stuff from Dai. Making use of the, uh, yeah, uh, not getting hit by the, the, what's called the slowdown of the Roman cancel because he was already in the ground when that happened and Bra just had to eat the mix because Eddie is not affected by the slowdown. Oh lord, very, oh, bro, forced to pop the burst already. Ah, good lord, and the 2S counter, and he had to see it. Too far to get the frog to. <gasps> and that's confirm. That confirm off of the 2S counter hit. Look at the damage. Holy shit. Uh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> Holy freaking lord. <laughs> I was out of character for one second there. Oh, lord. And bro, man, just going straight for the grab. Are you a kite player? Here we go, the pikes. Uh, escorting ever so slightly, bro, in the corner. Get the hit with the standing dust counter hit. And Daiwa is moving on to set point. The Jacko minions count as projectiles. Can Zato drunken shade them? Nah, they cannot. He cannot. He cannot. It's uh, not counted as a projectile. I, think. I don't think it is. But people can uh, correct me. I'm pretty sure he cannot drunken shade it. Okay, here we go with the command grab. And bro is losing his wits. What is gonna happen? What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Oh, gets hit by the frog and gets a total conversion. Almost got the wall spot right there and gets hit by the frog again. Bra in dire straits right there, not going to lie. Oh! And here we go with. Ah, uh, bro. Daiwa trying to get out of the pressure, and again with the badly timed. Oh, and that was, yeah, that was basically checkmate right there. Good stuff from Daiwa. Brings it back, and the Burger Cup as well. So, Pogo Saryu versus Caffeine. The match of the century. Let's see how this pans out. Definitely a pleasure to have Saryu tonight in the Brojo Cup. It is a very, very, very rare participation on his part, so definitely looking forward to it. Thank you very much for the follow of GC Kyle, and welcome to the Brojos. Oh, okay, here we go with uh, the start of the match. Let's see how Saryu pans out against Caffeine. Goes for the thick throw and gets it. And here you go, you are in limbo. Yeah. Oh, Lord, and that match from Caffeine wanting to, wanting to get out of the corner, man. Okay, both opponent are out of oh lord and sorry just throwing his sword out catches caffeine flinching and Caff and uh sorry going straight with the calvin dogs is gonna do a lot of damage not gonna kill by any means but still oh good lord oh no sorry still managed to block that that was pretty imp impressive and here we go the rc extension tries to go for the crossover doesn't get in unfortunately Ooh, no enter oh a little bit too early on that grab Caught Caffeine on his recovery frames, and unfortunately you cannot. Here we go with Caffeine, finding the opening. He gets the bait of the YRC to see it, and just like this, when Caffeine taking the first round from Pogo Saryu. Very nice to go. <laughs> and here we go on to the second uh, round. Let's see if Saryu can bring it back. We shall see. This one's a good guy. Here we go. Okay, uh, sorry for the weird guys. Yeah, we're good. Hopefully. 
And here we go with the first match going actually to Cafe Man. Holy freaking lord, very nicely done. Okay, let's see how the second match will pan out. We shall see sooner rather than later. Good lord, here we go to jump in and Cafe manages to get the tech attempt there from Saryu. And also the burst that accompanied it. Good lord, here we go, you are in the corner. Saryu jumping out of the corner, finds the opening, forces Cafe to pop the burst. Here we go, sorry, you still in the corner, man. He's gonna do it. What are you gonna do? Good lord, what are you gonna do? You have to hold it, you have to hold it. Ah, oh, good lord. Sorry, he gets grabbed. Finally, the pressure is over. So he can make his way out of the corner. Unfortunately, he gets air to aired by Caffeine. Caffeine finding again the opening, man. Goes for the quick dust into Roman Cancel for the kill. Caffeine on point today, not going to lie. Very, very strong performance from him. Okay, here we go with this, uh, the standing H. It's catching the backdash attempt from Saryu. Saryu finds the jump in. I get the extension combo. He's not gonna get the wall break. Oh no, it goes for the delayed overhead right there from Saryu. He's going for the Calvados 4. Guaranteed damage into hard knockdown and positive bonus. Definitely does have one bar. Oh no, he tried to go deep for the grab, but unfortunately didn't expect Caffeine to get hit by a counter hit, um, by a counter hit on his jumping attack. Oh, Lord, and again with the burst bait, man, the burst bait. Ah, sorry, this time around goes for the wire C and, oh, Caffeine, yeah, pops the burst, he still believes, still believes, he wants that sword, man, oh, and gets that hit with the freaking, uh, that was sick, good stuff from Caffeine, throwing his, uh, throwing his minion. And getting the conversion off of the minion as well. Pogo Saryu this. Mochiron on this. Okay, here we go with the grab from Saryu. Goes for the empty low. Unfortunately, Caffeine too good on block. Doesn't get open. It. Ah, okay, finally, Caffeine forced to pop the burst. Saryu almost uh, cornered himself. Still found the way. Uh, found the way out of it. Saryu, man, still getting hit by these minions. Unfortunately, oh, goes for the overhead. Which wasn't plus on block at that particular instance. There we go, Lord, and no 6p right there from Sari. This is unfortunate. Goes for the sword throw. Gonna get a lot of damage, a lot of mileage off of it. Uh, wants to keep the corner pressure. Ooh, tried to go for fuzzy, I think. Oh, Lord, in the Dari. Oh, that was so sick. And this is gonna kill. Good stuff from Sari. Gets the kill finally. Still not out of it yet. <laughs> Okay, next match. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, sorry, does not want to have to deal with the minions. Oh no! Oh, where where is Catherine going? Whew, almost got the uh, the punish on the second recovery there from Saryu. And you can see Catherine reacting to the sword throw now, using the guard point of the minions not to get hit by it there we go very nice six speed right there from sorry gonna get a full combo oh he dropped it was that intentional goes for the calvados this is gonna do a lot of damage not oh it what it killed it killed good lord good lord are you serious oh that was so that was so surprising i didn't expect it to kill all righty Good lord, how did it kill? That was so sick! My lord, the damage output of this of this freaking of this freaking uh hit is so crazy man. It's so crazy. That being said again with the Calvados, let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> and uh caffeine getting Oh good lord, sorry you bring it back, man. Oh damn it. Oh wait. We're still at 0 2, man. I think we are. Okay, this one's again. Mm. Uh, can somebody tell uh, Akame and Tat Tatsuma to start their matches right away, please? Well, to, just to Akame, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. 
And you're going to take pressure from Daphne, and he's on set point. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, here we go. You take pressure from Caffeine. Oh, gets the fake cross up on Saryu. Get the corner positioning. Oh, and that jump out from Saryu even baits the burst. That was very nicely done. Goes for the cross up. <gasps> look at that damage. And look at that was so sick. That was such a sick combo, not gonna lie. You're going with the Calvados once again. Gonna get the wall break into the hard knockdown. Oh, gets the closest counter. This is gonna be dead. Finally, Saryu putting one on the board. Still staying alive. <clears throat> Dual one. Let's rock. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Start for the map. Yeah, we'll start for the win. Here we go. Okay, we still have a little bit, we're a little bit behind schedule on the, uh, on the loser's bracket right now. Hopefully they'll, they'll, uh, keep things up, hopefully. Okay, we're good. Anyways, that being said, oh, good lord. Captain getting the, uh, the counter hit. Okay, got Saryu in the corner, goes for safe pressure. Oh, lord, and he baits the YRC once again. Okay, Saryu trying to jump out of the corner once again. Oh, very nice use of the jump back S right there from Saryu. And he gets killed by the uh, minion, unfortunately. And again, Caffeine on set point. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, here we go, dear to her by Saryu. And man, Caffeine with the 6P, man, find the opening. And Caffeine going away and completely ham once again, that kill. Ah, here we go with the sword throw. Saryu, man. Oh, Saryu gets the kill. He gets the hit. He's gonna get the juggle. It's gonna be enough to wall break. Goes for a regular wall break. Probably wants to keep. Well, doesn't have the means to go any. Oh, any differently. Very nice use of the 6P. Oh, Lord. And that jumping H. Catches the entire attempt from Caffeine. Here we go with the pink cross up yet again. It's been working in his favor. Caffeine looking for the burst. Ah. Oh, again, getting hit by the minions. Hit to see it. Sorry. In a very dire straits right there. Is it by everything under the sun? <gasps> wow! It actually caught the oh Saryu trying. Okay, gets the wall break, but not enough to kill. What is gonna be the end? Oh, and gets the far slash in. Saryu staying alive. Good lord, Saryu ending this. He's really doing his best not to get sent into losers. I'm definitely respecting this. Oh no, one home on the jumping S. I get hit by the closest counter hit. Sorry, he's in dire straits. He needs to get something going very, very soon before, before Caffeine gets. Yeah, this particular uh, positioning. Very nice XP right there for um, Caffeine on point. He wants that corner positioning. Ah, uh, this is a very looking very bad for Sorry. Gets open with the 2K. This is gonna be dead. Oh no! Not enough. Sorry, not out. Not out of this yet. Good lord. Here yeah, goes for the grab. Not over. Goes for the IAD man. He wants the safe pressure, goes for the Calvados. Not over, not over. Good lord. It could go. Nah, it could definitely go. Oh, first wait. But it's gonna be the max. He's got he's got yeah. That's what I thought. Good lord. I sense a sword throw. Ah, yeah, the minions. Oh no, it gets hit by the minion! Sorry you caught sleeping and unfortunate. Okie dokie, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle H badly, it looks like exactly. I'm I'm elderly mutant ninja. Well, ninja, I guess. Bald turtle, probably. <laughs> that might that might be more fitting. Okay, here we go with the start of the round, and I was still uh, resorting to using Leo for this matchup. Uh, probably yeah, figuring that uh, I suppose that um, uh, Zato is not a favorable matchup. Uh, against Chaco. I really don't know if anybody have an insight, has an insight uh, regarding the Leo versus uh, Jacko matchup and and can explain why like uh, Jacko is favorable, is an unfavorable matchup for Leo, please feel free to uh, to, to let me know. That being said, a very nice start of the round from Daiwa already uh, got his opponent down half life, more than half life actually. 
But Arania finally got rid of the burst of Daiwa. Is he gonna pop the burst? I don't think so. Yeah, this is this is dead. Jacques no! Daiwa dropping the combo! Why? But still gets the grab, it's still okay. Good stuff from Daiwa, definitely not out of it yet. Let's see if he can keep this up or if Arania is going to find a way to reverse uh, the momentum. We shall see. So you have in the uh, losing bracket. I have a lot of people. Oh, you're freaking good. Okay, and on to the corner pressure. Uh, yeah, Arania definitely maintaining the pressure, getting that juggle. Oh, gets the grab. Here we go with Daiwa, gets another grab. Oh, he goes for another grab, man. How many? Oh, good lord. Look at this. And Arania getting the kill with the wall break. Very nice with that. Jacko super uh, invalidates all of Leo's back turn mix except for exactly delayed uh, back turn overhead. Oh, okay, okay, that's good to hear. Uh, well, no, it's not good to hear. I mean, but it's uh, it's sad for Leo, but it's uh, good to understand why it's uh, not good for him. OTG gaming. Can he not like when he's in back turn? Can he not use his overhead? Isn't it like uh, airborne the overhead of uh, of Leo and just time it? On the uh, on the um, on the super of uh, of um, of um, what's called what's her name? I forgot her name of Jackway. Like I had the feeling that his overhead of um, of Leo was was um, airborne. Yeah, that's the only option he has. Well, okay, okay, got it. That's good to hear. Ah, and here we go, man, and the counter hit, man. Then Arania going straight for the Elysian driver. This is gonna be killed. Is it airborne frame one? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I suck at frame, uh, at frame counts and what and whatnot. I think Jacko's one of the strongest characters. Oh, me, me too, me too. I, I definitely feel like she's being slept on, but I definitely feel like she's a top tier character. She's so annoying to deal with. I feel like every character that has like overwhelming corner pressure is uh, inevitably like a top tier, and that like it, it uh, for me it uh, involves it involves it. Um, it includes Jacko, it includes like uh, Zato, it includes Gold Lewis, it includes uh, even freaking Salt for me is top tier because the corner pressure that they have and the the damage output they, they get when they open you up after you've blocked like two or three times is really crazy. It really, really is crazy. GG soundtrack is amazing, but Cough OSC warms my heart. Of course, man. Hey, follow Cough Enjoyer. Fellow Cough Enjoyer, nice. Eno. You know. The problem with Eno, well, Eno, you know, I think. Mm, you know, you know has normal regular pressure, and any pressure that he, she she has pressure off of Okizemes. Any Okizeme that she has, she has like a very very strong corner pressure. But the thing is that uh, she has very strong like Okizeme pressure. But for me, Ino has a very very bad damage output, so she needs to open you up ten thousand times in order to actually kill you. Whereas like people who have like very overwhelming cor corner pressure and uh, raises your wrist bar very very quickly, like Jackal or or Ram or Gold Lewis, they like they they force you to block in the corner, and even if you don't block, you get open right away. Like it's already like 40 to 50 percent of your life gone, depending on whether your opponent has the super or not. And if they force you to block and then they open you up, your risk like your risk gauge is already very very high, so you're probably gonna lose close to 60 to 75 percent of your health. You know? So that's the difference between. I feel like the corner pressure of Eno and the corner pressure of other more top tier characters, I feel. Because Eno, yeah, she can definitely F you up in the corner. Especially since she has like 10,000 different mixes, but he needs to open you up like quite a number of times in a row in order to kill you. Whereas like these characters are like, they open you up like, depending on your, your opponent's guts, they, they, can, they open you up like, like, I'm an Eno player, if Gold Lewis opens me up twice, I'm dead. I can only guess wrong once, and that's it. Oh, let's see if it. When? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I can see the. I can see the dilemma right there for uh, for the 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 Jacko matchup. Very nice, Shimmy. Not Shimmy. Yes, not Shimmy. Uh, yes, Shimmy. Yes, Shimmy. I'm starting to lose my head, man. I'm starting to lose my head. My trail of thoughts. Airborne ninth frame. Okay. She also uh, beats his fireball game. Now ranges his main rate. Okay. Okay. That that. Anji. Anji. I don't believe because. Anji, his quarter pressure isn't that crazy. I feel you really just need to look because his his uh, his overhead, unlike Leo's overhead, is reactable. I feel, and uh, just from that, all you need to do is wait for him to inevitably go for his uh, the kunai. I don't know if it's kunai that he throws or whatnot, but 
after he does Fujin, he like sometimes he he jumps in the air and throws like I don't know if it's fans or kunai or whatnot. You just wait for this and you're out of the out of the corner scot free, I feel. But he does have a lot of like a very high damage output. I I don't see him like uh, a top tier at all. I don't know. Hell your comments are great, I enjoyed the watch. Thank you very much, Jack. I'm not uh, in top form today, not gonna lie, I have problems like gathering my thoughts because I have to I have to multitask like a, a heck ton of different things. But yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate the uh, the kind comments. That being said, here we go with the Elysian Driver from Arani on the verge of taking it. Tries to go for a shimmy, but Daiwa was on point this time around. Didn't get his bite. Arani against the corner, uh, the uh, the wall break. Gonna get the positive bonus. Entires with the standing H. That was crazy, man. And here we go with the grab from Daiwa. What is the mix? And the Abari wake up from Arani makes it so that he steals the second match uh the third match actually thank you very much for the follow new akumu and welcome to the brojos okay and on to the potential final set depending on whether arania can seal the deal or not very nice grab right there from daiwa gets the back turn gets the standing s counter hit into huge damage half of your life gone we go the jump in gets the shimmy but daiwa on point using the rc to make it safe what was that that was a miss input definitely Oh lord, that was so unfortunate. Good stuff from Daiwa gets the kill. Goes for the RC for even more cool interactions. Hello, I'm a fan of Guilty Gear. Well, we are all fans of Guilty Gear here, so you're in the perfect spot. Vivi-san, for the thank you very much. And after this time, the fight is the fight. Thank you very much. It was a very strong fight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And here we go with uh, the, oh lord, the shimmy attempt from Aranya tries to get the, the juggle. Didn't quite get it though. Oh lord, oh here we go, the guard point in what? Is this gonna hit? It is, what the hell? Was that a block string? Was that unblockable right there? That was sick. That was sick, using the block stun of the, the, the guard point and converting with the, uh, that is sick. Holy freaking lord, good stuff from Aranya, man, the knowledge of this man. Good stuff and the reaction especially, that was really sick. And here we go, it tries to go for a guard point this time around Daiwa on point. So that's literally a, a, a trap. That is really, really crazy. Okay, here we go with uh, Arania, man, making these fake whistles to encourage Daiwa to press buttons. Okay, here we go, Daiwa goes for the cross up, wants that corner positioning. And Daiwa being a little bit too respectful. And here we go, Daiwa still blocking, man. He's been blocking for the for most of the match. Ah, cast his back dash for the closest. Oh, Lord! Finally, Arnia forced to pop the burst. And here we go, the guard point gets rid of the projectile. Here we go, this is... Ah, soccer time. Kick that minion. Kick it. Ah, yeah, you can see Daiwa, man. Ah, has problem maneuvering, and this should be... No, it's not. Take by the burst. Okay, Daiwa catching that back dash yet again using the closets. Goes for the overhead this time around. They should not be able. Now he goes for the grab and Daiwa man bringing it back. Two to two. We have a perfect tie, lady and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Because our super is unique because uh, it technically has a hit. It can grab people off of a wall spot. Yeah, that's crazy. But it won't uh, apply on hit or during guard cross. Okay, that's good to know. The more you know. Let's go, Arania. Thanks for the follow, Tom Pulse, and uh, welcome to the Brojo. Okay, here we go with the. Oh, Lord! Daiwa first popped the burst. Good Lord. Oh, here we go with the Daiwa trying to get out of the corner. That being said, Arania in dire straits gets the hit with the standing. Oh, H. Oh, very nice back dash from Arania. Yeah. Almost got grabbed right there from Daiwa. Yeah, Arania wants the corner positioning. Daiwa is definitely not willing to let it happen. Oh, good stuff from the uh, Arania maneuvering man. Oh, gets hit by the 2D counter and you hate to see it. No, 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 he's got, no, he gets hit by the 2K. Good stuff, Daiwa on set point. Is that the end for Arania? Is he going to be sent to the loser's bracket? We shall see. Okay, good stuff from Arania trying to get that knockdown. Wants to get that DP, you can see. Okay, very nice side switch. Arania with the corner pressure. Oh no, gets grabbed. This is unfortunate. Okay, here we go. Daiwa catches the back dash yet again with this standing K. Ooh, this time around. Very nice block from Arena. 
Almost got too deep. And die while we came up with the DP. Gonna get the corner positioning. Gets. Oh, no. Ah, tries to bait the burst so many times. Konbanwa, senjitsu wa taisan arigatou gozaimashita. Kochira gozo arigatou gozaimashita, Ribi-san. Mata, eto, ma, eto, kikai garuba zuhi mata. Kikai sashite kudasai. And here we go with the grab. Dai on the verge of taking it. No! I hate to see it. And Daiwa takes it with the bait of the Elysian Driver. Very nicely done. 3 2, two. We'll see now Hero Akame. Oh, no, no, no Akame. Akame was sent to the loser's bus. That's some unfortunate. Unfortunately. Okay, and here we go. This is the uh, uh, second winner's semifinal. Let's see how this pans out. Asma goes for the grab, finds it. Let's go for the tick pressure. Both, both players rocking that green, man. That really, really nice green looking. Ah, look at the delayed bandit bringer gets the conversion station. Look at the damage, man. A couple fight, man. Good lord. 1k points on caffeine. Let's hope that you're correct, Charity. Let's hope. Wow, the double volcanic viper. Not enough to kill. And he goes for the fake well not even i don't know if we can qualify this a shimmy but he definitely invited capping to press buttons right there oh see colors exactly man he's taunting you <laughs> it's saint patrick's day every day in australia man caffeine's minion displacement is so cool to watch it is man it is okay here we go caffeine back in the back in business trying to get the hit with the 2k 2d unfortunately nobody's home good lord And here we go with Caffeine goes straight for the overdrive. He's gonna get the wall break. This is gonna nice last. Nice last nice, nice. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Oh, and gets the hit with uh, the soccer. The soccer. Very nicely done. Okay, on to the next battle. Oh lord, and that air to air from Tatsuma gets the conversion. Oh, tried to get that knockdown, but unfortunately was a little bit too far. Or probably the uh probably Caffeine was a little bit too high. And the uh, 6HS could not connect with it. That's nice mobility from Tatsuma. No. Cafe, oh, this time around it did with the, uh, the 6HS. Counter it at that. Okay, what is uh, going to be the mix? Very nice use of the standing K2. Get rid of uh, the minions right there. Oh, Lord. And Caffeine Man. Trying, uh, trying to get behind their minions. Ah, finally the minions are out. Caffeine trying to play really, really slow. Oh, Lord, and that bandit, man. You hate to see it. This is going to be good. Very nicely done by Tatsuma takes the first match. Quite convincingly, not going to lie. Get him, Caffeine. Yes, get him. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice 4K. Oh, Lord. Good lord, here we go with the closest counter here. Oh lord, and Tatsuma baiting that DP. That's my own point, man. Oh, gets the freaking again. Catches caffeine, pressing buttons right there, man. Tatsuma is, yeah, definitely looking pretty good. Goes for it. RC, slide into K. For the kill with a perfect, nevertheless. Very nicely done. Okay, what is gonna be uh, the rest? We shall see. Good lord. Oh, Nice aerial fireball right there from Caffeine. We're trying to, yeah, pin Tatsuma down, but Tatsuma is being so mobile, it's so hard to pin him down. Okay, here we go. Finally, Caffeine getting something started. Gets the 2D. This time around, he managed to bait the burst. Very nicely done by Caffeine. He's going to get the wall break, I guess. A little bit too far. Too far. You hate to see it. So hard to get the wall break with the super, I feel. Okay, finally got the guard point, and Caffeine looking pretty good. Ah, uh, no entire... I uh, tried to low profile it using the 2k, but too far. Oh, here we go. And goes for the quick dust for the kill. Nice choice. Bye. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Caffeine. AC music. Yeah, of course. AC music is pretty nice. Okie dokie. Red and cookie. Here we go with the jump in by Tatsuma. Getting the corner carry. Bar from Caffeine gets out of the corner. Yes, he does. Again, man, catching Tatsuma trying to jump out of the pressure. Wow, that vortex was uh, so close to it. The K2D again finds the hit, finds the mark. 
Wow, I tried to go for a BRC combo. Almost got it, but Tatsuma was on point, man. That was sick. That was sick. Oh, Lord, no. Oh, Lord, and that wake up overdrive. This is going to be dead. Yes, it is. Goodbye. Good stuff from Caffeine. Stay alive, man. Putting one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. The Daco army is not dead. It's not dead yet. Good stuff, though. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the Bandit Bringer. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Caffeine. That's on the verge of getting out of this corner, though. Ah, Caffeine tried to go for a BRC right there. Unfortunately, he messed up his input. No, oh, Lord. No, oh, very nice juggle using the minions right there, right after Tusk one getting hit by a aerial. Uh, fireball. Ah, and yeah, the pressure's too much right there. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Perfect, nevertheless. Good stuff. Takes uh, the advantage in a very, very convincing manner. Here we go, man. Tatsuma caught. Pressing buttons. We're trying to jump out of the pressure. And here you go. Yeah, this is very, very bad for Tatsuma. Here you go. This is the corner pressure, man, that everybody hates. Good lord. What are you going to do, Tatsuma? Very nice. Oh, there you got the juggle. That was that almost killed. That was sick. Triple minion. Oh, Lord. Oh, he got the guard for it and tried to go for the... Oh, Lord. No, he would have won. He would have won. And the DP, man. He gets the juggle. I drops it. Though. Oh, Lord. You hate to get in by this close as man. Is Tatsuma going to make the ground back? No. No freaking way. I don't believe. Oh, and the DP again. Oh, no, no, no. No, and this time around. Yes. Good Lord. Caffey manages to bring it back. Unfortunately, the trade was in favor of... Caffeine. The reason being that he ordered his minion to attack right at the moment when uh, Tatsuma popped the DP and while uh, Jacko got hit, the minion was able to uh, to sneak in one hit that was enough to kill Tatsuma. Very nicely done. Good lord. The minion dropped and fell on him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's crazy. Armored Goober's clutch. Exactly. Damn, that was really sick. Good stuff from... Caffeine, that being said, Tasma not out of it yet, and that was a badly timed BRC. Man, how I wish a range track were on Spotify. And me too, man, me too. Okay, here we go with a wall break from Atsuma. Not gonna get the kill by any means. Well, not by any means, it was actually quite freaking close, but here we go with the YRC, and Caffeine tried to get out of the corner, but Walthrow is it. <laughs> Walthrow entered the chat. <laughs> Good stuff from Tatsuma he manages to get the clutch win right here. Okay, Caffeine trying to get that uh, zoning game going. Pushing Tatsuma ever so slightly in uh, the corner. Here we go with the uh, in the H. Oh, no entire. Uh, here we go. The minion trying to make his job. Trying to do his job and wake up DP finally from Tatsuma. That cheeky 6 speed. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought Caffeine was going to corner himself, but luckily he... Uh, was uh, smart enough to uh, use the uh, slowdown of the BRC to get out of the corner. Kill wife, wife fight back. <laughs> exactly. Good lord. Ah, here we go with the juggle. The juggle of caffeine. Ah, uh, you can see yeah, Tatsuma not wanting to block at all. Just jumping out of the uh, pressure. And here we go with the YRC. And that badly timed. Probably Meteor or whatnot from Tatsuma gets grabbed in the process and loses this round. This is a set point, by the way. If Caffeine takes this one, he will be sending Tatsuma in the loser's bracket. Me too, my bra. Wife Courtney husband. <laughs> oh, and that jump in from Tatsuma. That was a huge counter hit. Couldn't quite, uh, well, force Caffeine to pop the burst, so that's that. And here we go with Caffeine with the corner press. Sure, gets hit by the forest. Again with that sliding... Uh, the sliding purple Roman cannons. Oh, and that was a badly timed DP. Luckily, Tatsuma was uh, smart enough not to pop the burst right away because he probably expected Caffeine to uh, try to bait it. And that being said, here we go with the corner. Look at the damage. Is that good? Yes, it's going to hit. It's going to kill, actually. Yes, it is. And Tatsuma bringing it back. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two to two. Good lord. Me too, my bro. Me too. Okay, so what is Caffeine going to do? He's definitely not going to change uh, characters. Ah, uh, please, what the hell? Ooh. 
you start your map. Okay, we are good to go. Okay, sorry, I, I still need to like monitor the uh, the the bracket because I'm afraid that some players haven't started their matches yet. But that being said, we are on match point, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord, here we go to four. Oh yes, I guess the dragon win. Uh, the minion. After being down one round, he needs this one absolutely if he wants to stay alive and also win the other one if he wants to stay in the losers bracket, the winners bracket. I required the jump in, man. That was unfortunate from Caffeine. Here we go with the empty grab set up and whoo, please don't do Oh no! And Caffeine freaking pressed something to us. It's so unfortunate. That was a noise by the way. Oh, and he got the freaking burst! Tatsuma with the reads taken us through. We are officially in the losers bracket. First match of the losers bracket. This is Pogo Sadyu versus Akame. Let's see who is going to take it. We shall see Akame. From is coming straight from Australia. Arif san go eto. Arigato gozaimashita. Honto tsuru. Go sanka itadaki. Arigato gozaimashita. And uh, where's Kuni? I think Kuni has been eliminated actually. Yeah, Kuni's out unfortunately. And I don't think we still have Megane as a um, as a uh, Viking player. Megane is still in. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah. yeah unfortunately, yeah, he's been. In Ram versus Mil and just, wow! Good lord! Pogosadu already taking the first round that was extremely, extremely quick. And yeah, Akami getting hit, man. Holy freaking lord! Oh, good lord! And you're going to jump in from Akami, gets that uh, counter hit. I'm going for the empty low. Sadu still holding on to his burst, finally pops it. You're going to jump in. Sadu, oh, he goes for the fake cross up. Very nice blocks right there from Akami. Akame going for the bad moon and that's set up to get the juggle as well. He's gonna get the wall break. <clears throat> Good lord. And here we go to grab. Very nicely done by Akame. Takes uh, the second round. Oh, Kidoki Bridge and Cookie. Here we go with the air to air counter hit in favor of Sadu. You're gonna get the conversion station into full combo. Oh my lord, that was a sick conversion. That was a nice air throw, not gonna lie. Oh, can you go again with the jumping? Oh, that was huge. He's gonna get no, no burst right there. Ah, but, 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 not enough to kill. If he had Kalvados, I wonder if it would have been enough to kill. That would have been sick. If that was a good. <gasps> Woo! That air door. Oh, oh, and the wake up overdrive. I think Saryu didn't press a button. Yeah, this should be enough. Very nicely done by Saryu. On point with the reads. Takes the first round very, very convincingly. Let's see if Akame can uh, gather his wits and find a way to reverse uh, the momentum. We shall see. Okie dokie, present cookie. Good lord, and that 6p counter, you just hate to see it. Probably try to, uh, to, uh, what's it called? To bait the burst from Akame. Unfortunately, Akame is out of one currently. And here we go, the Kalvados is gonna do a lot of damage. Holy freaking lord! Pogo Saryu on point, man. Domination station. Good lord, ah. Uh, yeah, no one home. That 6p, man. Saryu on point goes for the overdraft and the kill. Sorry, already up one round one match. Balance damage, exactly. Unga boonga damage. <laughs> you can see. Sorry, man, just trying to look for that jump from Akame. Akame is staying a lot more grounded this time around. Probably afraid of getting entired right there. Ah, oh, Lord, and that big. That big jump H counter that did a lot of damage. And that was a nice burst, Akame. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Good stuff from Sari takes the second match extremely convincingly. Not going to lie. How do people get the swept side H Kabari? Okay, okay. Oh, here we go with potentially the last match of the set. Very nice. Uh, uh, I can be going for the empty low. This time around, Sari was on point. Ah, here we go to jump in. Oh, the trade could have been in favor of Akame. A little bit too late on the conversion. Oh lord! Here we go with the cross under. Saryu getting the far S. Didn't quite convert off of it though. 
Ah, good tick. Uh, good entire raid there from Akame. Went for the... Ah, oh, Schmixes instead of guaranteed damage. Gonna get the knockdown with the sledge. Here we go. Gonna get the hit again. Akame going completely ham. Oh, okay, here we go. The close as this did a lot of damage. Akame forced to pop the burst. And he's gonna get the conversion stage. This is, this is it. He's gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Akame. This is probably going into the highlights. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. Next up is the... Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, down one round. Akame needs this one if he wants to tie it up. Okie dokie. Oh, that air to air in favor of Sari is gonna get the wall break. Yes, he is. Kaboom! With the Ram Slam. Akami making me want to play Melia. Not gonna lie, I do as well. <laughs> oh, and that wake up overdrive. We don't care here. We don't care. I'm the Pogo champ. I do not care. <laughs> Good stuff from Pogo Sario, man. Takes uh, the second round of this third match. And if Sario takes this one, he will be eliminating Akami and killing the Aussie Dream. Motorboat! <laughs> Good lord! Oh, and that cross-up from Akame! Akame definitely not out of this yet, getting the cross-up again! There you go, you are in limbo! Akame finding the opening with the empty low. Okay, Akame looking pretty good. He oh no! Badly timed sled right there! Probably trying to read the bag that from Saryu, but Saryu remaining very, very, very respectable! And this should be it! Oh lord, too far for it! Too far! Oh, and that air grab though, it's not over till it's over! Oh, and the wake up! Golden! Oh lord, 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 lord! What's going on? What's going on? Oh, the schmixes are everywhere! Akame using every trick in the book to bring it back good stuff! One to two! Akame putting one on the board and... Uh, Hyper, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the Brojos! Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie, here we go with the fourth match of the set! I can get encounter hit for days. Ah, it does find the uh the the, the knockdown though. I let you go. Oh good lord. Okay, I can't be finding the opening. Oh, couldn't quite get anything off of it though. But it's okay. Oh, it doesn't go for the cross-up goes for the fake cross-up. Oh, I come again with the schmixes, man. Ah oh, man man. Oh lord, here we go the bad moon. Bad moon, stay down, bad moon. <laughs> but dude, I can be I can be going completely ham. What is going on? This is crazy and gets a far slash for the kill. Was that? I thought it was a perfect. Akame, man, bring it back. That is a very, very drip. This this million has a lot of drip. Not gonna lie. Good stuff. Okie dokie, here we go. The uh, IAD, back IAD. Yes, Akame finding the knockdown. Saru does uh, hitting button currently to try to challenge Akame and successfully does so. Nice for S counter hit right there from Akame gonna get the Oh the wall pressure. Oh what? Good lord, sorry man. Pressing buttons right in the freaking middle of the mix-up of, of Akame. And thanks to this, actually, this is gonna grant him the kill on that second round and put him on the verge of winning this set. Okay, set point. Is Akame gonna bring it back? We shall see. Good lord, Faris. Uh, closest. Closest counter hit. Sorry, force to pop the burst. Ah, uh, air to air. No, no, Ram Slam, no one home. Actually hit on the startup frames. Akame taking this opportunity to bring back uh, the heat of the battle. I'm gonna get the wall break. No, what the hell? No, oh lord, and that's close. S counter hit. This did a lot of damage. The Samurai gets the sled. Akame going completely ham, not gonna lie. Okay, no, under. Oh lord, what, 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 what? What is going on? Oh, good lord, and it's get duty for the kill. That was sick. I like this highlight as well. What am I gonna do? So much highlights I want to put in my in my highlight movie. That was sick. Akame moving on to the two. Puts one on the board. Pogo Saryu in dire straits. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? We shall see how this pans out. Akame is pretty good. Not gonna lie. We go to 2K 2D. Good stuff from Aka from from Saryu. I uh, guess the knockdown. Oh, badly timed sledge. But you could see Saryu trying to bait that. A burst. Here we go, the sledge. No, and I. Oh, Lord! Yeah, finally, I can be forced to pop the burst. Oh, gets it, though. It goes for the fake cross up. Okay. Uh, here we go. Sorry, you going to land into the corner right there. That being said, Akame does not have any tension bar to 
uh, benefit from a hard knockdown. That being said... Ah, he's still going to get the kill! Wow, Akame on match point, man! Holy freaking lord, set point, actually. What is Sari gonna do with the Pogo Champ? The Pogo Champ on the verge of getting eliminated by an Australian, nevertheless! Akame, man! Oh, here we go, this is the corner pressure! That Sari absolutely loves, goes for the Calvados for guaranteed. Hard knockdown and positive damage. Things are looking pretty bad for Akame for this round, not gonna lie. He is going to get the burst. Right now, probably will resort not to use it and keep it for the final round. Oh, here we go, the Darrow. Good lord, under a bar from Akami, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. You just need to go. Oh, and the bad moon. Oh, lord, and the 6P, man, that was sick. That was sick. Oh, he goes for the cross up. Oh, finally. Uh, sorry, we pushed up the burst. Oh, and that knocked. Oh no! Wow! That was sick! This is gonna kill! And Akame eliminates Pogosan! You 3 to 2 with the. Pogosan, I'm gonna call him Pikora. Because his name is a little bit too long. Okay, just let's call him Pikora. Here we go, Pikora versus Mikane. And we actually have a Potemkin player in the top 8. This is actually very surprising. Let's see how this turns out. I have no intel on Pikora. Not at all. I've never played him on, on the Celestial either, so I actually do not know at all. Could not add song. Oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, who added this? Oh, it's Bidozer? No, it's not. Oryx. Oryx wa... Oryx san wa ikko honkyaku shimasu. Mm-mm. Just wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Good lord! Just one second, guys. I'll be with you guys uh, soon enough. Okay, so let's see. Slider head! Good lord! Oh lord, and that freaking big, 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 big uh, Mega Fist, man, that was huge. Good stuff from Piccolo. actually managed to take the first round, man. The first, yeah, the first round. Good stuff. I'll be with you in just a second, guys, right? Alright, because I need to refund him one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, we are good indeed. And here we go with Pekora with the corner pressure. He's gonna get a full combo using the reflector. Look at the damage. So you bet and get more points, exactly. Invest in the game, exactly. You have to bet. Australians. I'm barely gonna get any sleep for Rick, but worth the support the boys. That's good to hear, man. Oh, Lord, and Picora on the verge of taking it. Very nice tech, by the way. Now oh, he goes for the Hammerfall and a regular sending key for the kill. Nicely done by Picora. Puts one on the board. He's gonna his entire street. What is he gonna do? Ah, salut, Sam. Leave the state of the game. I'm going to go to 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 the game. Good lord! Here we go with the Tatami Gaishi pressure, man! Okay, Megane finding the opening! Oh, try to get a conversion! Oh lord! And here we go with the Garuda impact! Oh no, that was an unfortunate burst from Megane! Ah, here we go with the 2S counter hit! Oh no, and Megane messing up his Yozan Sen right here. This is unfortunate. This is death, by the way. Yeah, it is. Good stuff from Pekora, gonna get the kill. With a clean, a clean reflector uh, combo right here. And all of she is coming up. The BGM. I think it's all of she, is it? I keep missing. I think it's all of she. Yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Okay, I know my I know my my guilty gear OSTs. That's cool. Okay, anyways, here we go with Megane getting that Kabari combo. Oh, going for max damage right there. What, where do you block? Where do you block? Look, I have tomorrow. Lucky you. And I actually, uh, me myself, do not have tomorrow off, but I work from home, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, Lord, and the heavenly punching buffs there for the kill. Good Lord, what is this man doing? Picora, man, pulling out of his freaking mind, and he's gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Picora. And this is the second match that he wins in a row. Megane and Dire Strait, this is potentially the last match of this current set. Look at him in Japan on holiday. Yeah, definitely. Enjoy, bro, enjoy. 
Okay, Rigo Migane definitely has it. He has had it. He wants to get one match at least. Very nice read right there on the Mega Fist. Oh, and the, the slider head. Yeah, slider head yet again. Megane not reacting to it fast enough. Gets hit by the close S to catch the back dash. Here we go. Yeah, Megane getting the cross up. Evo is on uh, Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, for further info regarding the actual timing, you need to check it out. I, I, don't, I do not know it by heart, even though I'm participating to it. Okay, anyways, here we go with uh, the rest of the uh, round. This time around, uh, finally, Megane managing to get one round. Look at the conversion from Begora. You are in uh, Garuda Impact Town. You have to hold it. Hello, here we go. Oh, Lord! And Pekora getting the hit. Oh, and he goes for the quick. Oh, the quick does, but Megane was already aware of it. And unfortunately, Megane gets hit by the reflect. Sorry if I'm sending a lot of them, uh, though. No, no, go ahead, man. It's here for this. It's here exactly for this reason. So feel free to to spam the chat as much as you want with the uh, with uh, with the BGM requests. It's, it's not a problem at all. It's here for this. If if it annoyed me, I would just like I would just prevent everybody from using it. <laughs> so don't worry, no worries. Okay, here we go with the tatami gaishi. Oh lord, and the double <gasps> instant block on the tatami gaishi from Pekora, man. That was sick. Good lord. Okay, and here we go with the far, man. The far S count. Oh, Lord. And he gets the conversion off of it. And just like this, man. The clean to, uh, to start this match. But uh, anyways, it worked out. So next match is going to be Aronia, the uh, Taiwan prodigy using Jacko versus Akame, the Australian um, Tempest of Mix, I suppose. <laughs> Akame, extremely strong melee player. First time I actually heard, hear about him, and he definitely seems very strong. You have lots of very strong players in Australia, I feel like. Uh, you also had like a sleep, sleepless bed or something like this. Bedless sleep. Who was also a very strong uh, gold list player. And here we go with Aranya popping the overdrive right away. This is going to do a lot of damage. Not going to kill, though. Good stuff. Bedless sleeper, yes. Exactly. So here we go with uh, the tick pressure. Aranya tried to bait that burst. That, that worse, yeah. Okay, and here we go. Aranya trying to make use of that Gord point, but Akame didn't bite. He goes for the cross up. Aranya still holding on to his burst. Uses the YRC. Akame uh, pressing buttons right here. No entire. And here we go with the soccer. The soccer minion for the kill by Aranya takes the lead. One round, 2 0 for now. Okay, Akame gets the wall. Uh, not wall, the, the mix up, the knockdown. Oh, finally baits the burst. That was a very, very unfortunate burst, Aranya. And Akame, Akame gonna get that overdrive for the wall break. Finally, good fight by Soldier in the lead. Blitzkrieg. Yeah, that's too bad. I really wanted to see this fight, but unfortunately, yeah, due to unfortunate events, we weren't able to see Blitzkrieg, uh, uh, Blitzkrieg uh, play today, yeah, unfortunately. Next time, next time. Next Evo. <laughs> Real good, your bar from Akame. Very nice, uh, confirmed. Oh, and that guard point makes it so that Aranya was able to get the side switch. Thank you very much for the follow, Huang TG, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Unfortunately, they are spuds and use the, the same PC. Ah, okay, we got it, got it. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, Lord, and that freaking uh, uh, that juggle from Aranya. Blitz PC broke. This is so strange, though. In what way did it break? Like, did he like? Did he toss it? Did he? Or was, did he, like, did his PC get, like, some virus or hardware failure or something like this? So unfortunate. That being said, here we go with Aranya taking the lead 1-0 to zero over Akame. And on to the next battle. Thank you very much for the follow, Oyster, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Again, here we go with Akame getting, uh, bringing the heat to Aranya. Very nice block from Aranya. That was crazy. How do you block this? Oh, Aranya... Forced to pop the burst. And Akame making good use of the overdrive of Melia to get rid of any and all uh, minions who were about to be sensed by Arunia. Good stuff. A good grab from Akame on the verge of taking it. Goes for the empty low and gets the kill. Good stuff. Down to the next battle. Oh, and that far slash did a very good by Akame. He's going to get the wall break? Yes, he is.
Arya with the cross up using the minion, he gets the juggle, tries to get the opening. Ah, oh, very nice XP right there from Arania, and that was a wake up overdrive that going to hit. Good stuff from Akame. The mixes are real. Gets the low. Goes for a mix up. Ah, uh, tried to bait the burst from Arania, but Arania didn't bite, but did get hit by the bad moon. And just like this, Akame puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Okay, what is Arania going to do? Probably thinking right now. Should I stick with... Well, then again, he only plays... Uh, he probably only plays uh, Jacko, in my understanding. In my knowledge. So, what is going on? Let's see. Do we have a connection error? I don't think so. Ah, Arania just okay. Just, uh, she probably took this time to, to think a bit. Okay, and here we go with Akame trying to get that jump in. Honestly, Akame is top 4 in OC. I th okay, that's cool to know. Thank you very much for the follow, DLGS66, and welcome to the Bojo. Okay, Nakami on point with the anti Arania on point with the anti -airs. Trying to pin Nakame down, and Nakame finds the opening with the 6P. Again with the 6P, gonna catch the bag dash. Okay, Akame still with the tick pressure. Gets a knockdown with the 2K2D, goes for the cross up. Unfortunately, Arania backdashed out of it, goes straight into the Illusion Driver right after a counter hit 5k P, I'm sorry, 5h. Okay, Akame on his last legs for the screen round. Oh, and Arania trying to go for the quick dust, but oh, gets it the, the second time around. Good stuff. Arania taking the lead one round to zero. And again with the far slash, definitely doing a lot of good. Um, doing a lot of good for Akame. <laughs> oh lord, what? Okay, using the bomb features of the minion, this is something that doesn't happen very often. Okay, Akame going for the cross-up. Wow, these combos are pretty nice. And Akame gonna take the second round. We have a perfect tie. Once again, one match apiece, two, one round apiece. Oh, there we go this time around Arania finding the opening with the 2k2d Akame with the checks manages to get out of the pressure forces Arania in the corner jumps over d2d and again man Arania with the 2k2d manages to bait the burst goes straight for Elysian driver from a maximum damage gonna get a knockdown too oh good lord Oh, did get the hit off of Akame, and I've spent... Oh, Lord! I said to YRC. Nope, not quite. Oh, and that was YRC, but too late on the punish, but still managed to get the hit. With the standing K, Arania takes the lead. 2-1. to one. Is Akame gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Again with the far K, man. Hopefully doing its work. Probably trying to uh, to win over the, uh, the far S of Akame, I suppose. Wow, Akame, man, going... going completely ham. No, Lord, and that air to air. Arani looking for the burst again, man, but yeah, Akame not giving it to him, man. Here we go with the grab from Akame, gets the knockdown. And here we go, the sliding blue Roman cancel from Arani. Oh, and gets the hit with the minion off of the recovery frames of the YRC. Arnia is on match point. Is he going to eliminate the Australian prodigy? We shall see. Oh, Lord, and that far slash check from Akami managed to get the counter hit. Oh, very nice backdash from Arnia. Uh, Arnia trying to get out of the corner. Here we go with the standing H. Gonna get the juggle with the minion. Akami holding on to his burst. Doesn't want to let up. Oh, Lord, the double BRC. And the double back dash. Oh lord, that was so unfortunate. I can sense yeah, burst bait. A burst bait is definitely incoming. Good lord, and he gets the hit with the foot she's literally good. Okay, Caffeine versus Picora, both very strong players of their respective characters. Picora, a newcomer of the Brojo Cup, as I have already mentioned before. Showed off ext an extremely strong performance, managed to get uh, to actually eliminate Megane out of the tournament. 
Okay, and here we go with the Mega Fist. Ah, that was an unfortunate burst right there from Piccolo, unfortunately. He is going to be escorted in the corner by Caffeine. Oh, Lord! And here we go with the BRC from Caffeine manages to get out of the... Uh, the... Put them Kid Buster pressure. Okay, here we go. This is the win condition of Caffeine. Yeah. Good Lord. What are you gonna do? And Picora manages to not die, which is a feat in itself, but does get hit by the minion of Caffeine. That was absolutely perfect. Holy freaking Lord. Picora didn't manage to hit Caffeine once. This is a truly surprising. Okay, here we go with the Mega Fist. Ah, Caffeine gets the hit with the 2D counter hit. Good Lord again with the 2D, man. Picora not ready for it. And here we go with the Illusion Driver from Caffeine. Gonna get the hard knockdown with the positive bonus. And there goes the grab from Pigora. Oh no, and the wake up overdrive. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Caffeine. Takes the first match very convincingly. Pigora looking a little bit lost. Not going to lie. That being said, it is only the first match. Pikora has all the time in the world in order to bring it back. Here we go with the Garuda Impact. Again with the Garuda Impact, trying to pin Caffeine down. Wow, Pikora with the whiff punishes. That was actually pretty nice. Here we go with the Hammerfall. Caffeine not respecting his minus frames. Goes for the standing. Wow, this is gonna be huge! No, oh, missed time, Garuda Impact! We go with the slider head, man. As soon as Caffeine sees him, pop the slider head. Oh, Lord, that was unfortunate for Caffeine! Goes for the back, Mega Fist, and gets the 4S for the kill. Picora bringing it back. Finally puts one round on the board. Oh, get near, oh, okay. Oh, this didn't... Oh, he can reflect them. No way. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you can see Picora really trying to pin Caffeine on the ground. Too far for the Garuda impact. Okay. Picora getting the hard knockdown. But Caffeine we get up this with the 6P. Manages to punish the standing far slash attempt from Picora. Caffeine gonna get the overdrive, he's gonna get the hard knockdown, it's gonna kill! Yes it is! Good stuff from Caffeine, just need one more round if he wants to get a pretty sizable lead in the set. Okay, Caffeine, uh, getting his minion eliminated, deleted by Picora. One by one, one step at a time. Oh, here we go, Picora getting the knockdown. Oh, uh, no entire no air to air here from Picora. This is unfortunate. He definitely did not want Caffeine to get out of the corner right here. Oh, again with the flick, but this time around Caffeine manages to punish it with the standing H. Heavy slash. Good use of the minions from Caffeine trying to keep Picora in the corner. Uh, back to the neutral. Oh, I think we're actually managing to make his way towards Caffeine, but the health deficit is pretty sizable. It is going to be a hell of a this difficult for Picora to take this one. The main reason being that his heavy armor can indeed tank a couple of hits, but it cannot recover. Well, it cannot do so if the uh, Potemkin has very little health, which probably could have have spelled death to uh, Picora. And which has spelled this, but not for that particular reason, though. Okay, anyways, here we go. The jump in from Caffeine. Ah, Picora getting the knockdown. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Uh... Oh, good lord, the big Mega Fist counter hit. Okay, Picora really trying to make his way, but... Oh, no! Good use of the guard point right there from Caffeine to reflect the flick attempt from Picora. Oh, good lord. Nice Abari from Caffeine. Gets out of the pressure. He definitely wants to go 
in the loser semifinal. He doesn't want to be eliminated so quick. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the pressure is real. What are you gonna do? Finally, Caffeine finding the opening. Is this gonna kill? No, it's not enough, unfortunately, for him. Caffeine doing a real good job of keeping Picora, man. Again with the Mega Fist. No, I'm not letting you. Oh, Lord. Here we go, the Mega Fist yet again. Oh, and that's XP. Ah, yeah, that was a big. And just like this, Picora bringing it back. Holy freaking Lord. He was on the verge of losing this one. That was a very, very huge. Again, here we go, the standing HS. Pecora, man, trying to make his way ever so slightly towards Caffeine. Caffeine not laying him. Ah. Okay, Pecora did manage to get the closest, but couldn't quite get any. Oh, Lord, and the Reflector. No, why? Good Lord, and the double Reflector right there from Pecora. Why did it trade, though? I thought he had, like, uh, invincibility frames after the... The animation is, doesn't seem to be the case. That being said, look at the uh, damage and wake up. Hello, Garuda, my old friend. Pikora finally manages to put one on the board. So, what is Captain going to do? It's definitely not totally one sided. But Pikora definitely needs to be careful right there. If he loses this one, he is out of the corner. That being said, here we go the Garuda, man, the Garuda Fest. Caffeine definitely not liking being pinned down because of the Garuda. Good 2k to the no one's home. Good grab from Caffeine. And managed to pop to beat the burst. Once to get that corner, once to get that that um that wall break. They have to hold it, have to hold it, or not. Good lord, two minions for you. And Caffeine manages to get the grab. Uh, it looks so one-sided just a couple of seconds ago, but... Caffeine making his way ever so slightly closer to the goalpost. Oh lord! Here we look. Oh, and that for No, that for just countered it. Pecora, man, on the verge of getting sent to the... Uh, well, out of the tournament, actually, because this is the loser's bracket. Here we go with that slider head. Back Mega Fist. Try trying to make his way towards Caffeine. Not an easy feat, not going to lie. Okay, here we go with Caffeine. Yeah, really taking time to zone, just not over committing. Just wanting to get that particular hit. Manages to get it, couldn't quite get the juggle. That being said, Pekora with the, um, the heat knuckle. Oh, Lord, and the gold burst. What is Pekora gonna do? Ah, and the double minion. This is probably checkmate. And it is checkmate with the power of two minions to... Oh, and Daiwa still sticking to his guns with his Leo. Let's see how this spins out. Devil May Cry. Okay, here we go to 2 k 2 d Start of the round. Tatsuma going for the tick pressure. Good lord. Here we go the gun flame. Gunflame again. Ah, manages to find it with the 2S counter hit. Oh, good lord. And that freaking air grab. Oh, that was an OS. But unfortunately for him, Daiwa did block it. Probably did it a little bit too early. And that's my waking up DP, of course. To stay true to himself. And that delayed DP from Daiwa caught Tatsuma pressing buttons right there. Oh, good lord. Uh, no entire right there from Dio, this is unfortunate. Dawa does use the her hero bur burst right there, does not want to go down quite right now. And that is probably gonna be dead. Yes, it is. Oh no, too far, too far, too far, so sad. And here we go, the air grab from Tatsuma for the kill. Takes the first round very convincingly. On to the second battle. So, here we go with uh, the gun flame. Good stuff from Tatsuma against the, uh, the Roman Cancel. The uh, Bandit Revolver. Daiwa on point with the air grabs as well. With the grab from Tatsuma getting the side switch. He's going to get the Revolver with extension using the RC. While breaking the positive bonus. No hard knockdown though. 
Oh, and that big 4S counter hit. Taiwan Auto free to just go straight for a grab. That being said, Tatsuma on the verge of taking that first round and does it so with a bandit bringer followed by a um, a 6HS on the ground. Very nicely done. Tatsuma manages to take the first round, the first match. And Daiwa probably opting to using his uh, true uh, his true character, actually, with none other than Zato. Let's see if he does so. It's probably going to be the case. And it is indeed Zato time. So well, let's see if it changes anything. It probably will, as the change from uh, from 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 um, Zato to uh, not Zato, from Leo to Zato has proven beneficial for uh, Daiwa in his previous matches. Gamba san gambarai, indeed, indeed. Gamba san gambatikrasai. Gamba san. Daiwa san gambatikrasai. And here we go on to the second match. Dawasan resorting to using his true form. His one and only Zato goes for the side switch. And gonna get the wall break or not? He will not, actually. Again with a far S counter hit. That's one definitely looking for that burst. And here we go, Daiwa finally forced up the burst. Daiwa getting the frog and the and the um and you wall break that goes with it. Daiwa definitely not letting up. He wants that wall break so much. Oh wow! The decision making of Tatsuma to just run straight toward the, the opponent is really. It's really, really super surprising in a good way. And just like this, Tatsuma is going to get the kill with a big Volcanic Viper for the finish. On to the second round of this map. And here we go with the corner pressure from Daiwa going to get the wall break. Ah, good lord, Daiwa and the checks, man. Definitely on point with the checks, the five Ps. And, oh, Tatsuma with the very strong, very strong guard right there. Managed to uh, block the overhead. That being said, he is in there right there. Definitely has, again, with the overhead block, man. Look at this. The defense of Tatsuma is really top-notch. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Tatsuma trying to get out of the corner, but... Not Tatsuma. Uh, actually, Daiwa trying to get out of the corner, but Tatsuma not permitting him. Oh lord, the big bandit revolver counter. You hate to see it happen. Daiwa not popping the burst. Finally pops it there. And here we go. Ah, Tatsumu. Tatsuma. Still says loser. Oh, shites. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. You are right. This is the winner's final, baby. My bad, my bad. You are totally right. Thank you for the heads up. This is the winner's final, by the way. Yes. And uh, Tatsuma going with uh, the wall splat tick right there. Wants to get that one so bad. Oh, no. Ooh, ah, in the jungle. That was so unfortunate. Tatsuma taking it with a perfect man. 2-0. to zero. We still have one more to go. This is winners indeed. Okay, and on to the next battle. Wow, and that run up grab that's more. Are you a Kai player? Good lord. Oh, okay, and the big gun player, unfortunately, for Daiwa, who just straight up jumped right into it. Oh, and again with the DP man, Tatsuma not giving an F. Okay, and here we go with Tatsuma, man. Trying to find the timing to get out of the corner. Finally finds it. Has to use Bart to do it. So, though. Oh, Lord. And again with... Oh, the Eddie pressure. Good stuff from Tatsuma, man. He's got the corner positioning. He's got the damage. Oh, he goes for the grab. This should be enough. 
good stuff from Tatsuma. He just needs a one more match in order to send Daiwa and the losers and make his way to the grand final. Ah, the blocks are real, man. Oh, Lord. And Daiwa, man, just managing to jump on Tatsuma. Finally getting something going. Finds the opening. And the wake up DP, man, yet again from Tatsuma. And again with the Bandit Revolver. Ah, oh, good lord. And Tatsuma going on completely ham. Grab, grab him, grab you, and he goes for the wild throw for the kill. Good lord. And just like this, man, Tatsuma sends on to the next battle. Ironia versus Caffeine. This is the loser semifinal. We still have two more matches to go before the end of today's Brojo Cup. That was. A very, very long Brazil Cup. The reason being that we had over 50 participants today. So thank you very much to all the participants. And thank you very much to all the viewers, of course. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. It's still not over. I mean, so we had like probably the two of the best, well, three of the best matches coming straight right now. So first off with a uh, Jacko Mirror. As we have a lot of Jacko representation during this tournament. We have uh, in the end a semi-final between two Jacko users. But to you, which is the best? That was an unfortunately timed overdrive, and just like this, man, Caffeine is gonna put Arania in the corner. That being said, Arania does have the life advantage by far. The Caffeine resorting to uh, breaking the wall with a normal and not with a V. Oh lord, Arania popping the burst, not afraid. Oh good lord, that juggle though, and goes with the RC extension to secure the kill. Good stuff from Arania. Gets a very, very clean first round. Caffeine on point with the whip punish. Pushes Arania in the corner. There we go. Arania still in the corner. The battle of the minions. <laughs> that was fun. Anyways, here we go. With the Caffeine trying to make his way toward Arania, but Arania doing a good job of just using his. Minions to prevent him from uh, doing so. That wake up standing H was uh, crazy. Oh, there we go with uh, the corner, not the corner, the minion pressure. Nice uh, use of the RC right there from Arania to delay his fall and then with punish the entire attempt from Caffeine. Oh, good lord! Arania gonna get the first. Oh, or not actually, not yet. Ah, oh, good lord! Not too far to get the now down and that was an unfortunate burst from Arania. All of this worked for nothing. He had it. But still, nice stuff from Caffeine to manage to actually beat the burst. Okay, here we go. The corner pressure. Caffeine on point with it. Gets rid of the minions. Oh, good lord again with the minion kill. Ah. Oh. Okay, here we go. Arania, man. Ah, gets the hit. He doesn't get the jump in though. Arania definitely showing his prowess in the uh, zoning match. <laughs> in the in the uh, what's it called the Jacko mirror match zoning his zoning capabilities. Thank you very much, Austin, for the follow. Welcome to the brothers. And that was a wake up overdrive. And just like this, Caffeine takes the first match, man. Holy lord. Good stuff. Now, sometimes you just have to throw... You just have to, to pop it. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. And the caffeine with the corner pressure. He has the life deficit though, but... Oh, it manages to get the hit right there on the 5H, uh, but unfortunately no extension for it. No conversion from it. And that being said, Barry, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Brojos. 
Karen, yeah, on point with his corner pressure. Forces Aaron, uh, Caffeine to pop the burst. Ah, oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, very nice recognition right there from our Nia. To just pop the uh, 2P and then confirm and then go on ahead with his combo. Okay, and here we go with the empty jump into the back throw. Caffeine definitely looking good. Finally, of course, Aranya to pop the burst. Caffeine getting uh, the hit. Uh, uh, the corner pressure is real. Nice shimmy. I uh, wanted that kill so bad. Couldn't quite get it with the OTG alone. Uh, too far to get the conversion off the 2k 2d. Oh lord, nice 2k 2d. Oh, gets the conversion and the juggle. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want it. Oh lord. Oh, that juggle no. Aranya going for the overdrive. Is this gonna kill? I think it is. No, it's not, not nearly enough. Actually, the proration was way too high. Okay, what is the mix? Uh, the schmix miz? Yeah, Aranya going very, 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 very... No. Oh no, and that entire... Oh, that was so unfortunate. And just like this, Aranya puts one on the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. Okay, let's see if Caffeine can bring it back. Can bring the momentum back, guys. Ah, uh, yeah. Zoning time for... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, we're good. The jump in from Caffeine finally manages to get something going. Okay, and the corner positioning is looking pretty good for Ania. Ah, uh, for, for Caffeine. Ah, uh, Rania manages to get out of the corner. Uh, goes with the, ah, uh, the minion pressure. Goes for the high, oh lord. Okay. Oh. Okay, here we go back to the neutral. Look at this storm of minions and oh lord, the confirms of Aranea. Ah, on the verge of taking it actually. Oh, here we go, the YRC. Buying some time for caffeine to get out of the out of pressure. Oh, that football though. And Aranya, with the use of the uh, of the guard point, man, it's really, really. He's he's so good at using it. Ah, here we go. Yeah, but they have armor. What are you gonna do? You can't kill them. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord Dominion, man. Good Lord, Caffeine definitely doing his best to try. Oh, but gets jumped in by. Aaron, yeah, this is unfortunate for Caffeine. He did work so much for this uh, for this uh, round, I felt, but now, nah. oh Lord, and the trade, of course. <laughs> Very nice wake up, uh, sending H right there from Caffeine. Could read the back dash attempt from Aaron, yeah. And here we go back to some more zoning. Oh, that was punish on the 2D though. Oh, Lord. Lord Sadler. Ah, here we go. The grab. No grab. That was the close S. Ah. Oh, very nice. Right there from Caffeine. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. Oh, Karen, you're getting rid of the minions. Oh, gets the hit with the minion. Tries to pin Caffeine down, but Caffeine remaining so freaking mobile all the time. It's so hard. Good lord, ah, yeah, Kevin getting it, not gonna get anything much out of it, but does have, well, he does have the corner positioning, and plus uh, added damage. <laughs> that was, that was funny. Very nice blue arc here there into the grab. And this should be it. Aaron, yeah, taking a pretty nice lead right there, well, taking a lead. 2-1, to one. Caffeine, definitely not impossible for him to bring it back. Here we go, the 2D counter hit right there from Caffeine. Aranya already forced to pop the burst. Oh, very nice with punish right there from... It wasn't exactly with punish actually, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, oh lord, here we go. Aranya. Ah, nice pressure right there. Yeah, Caffeine. Oh, and the jump in yet again by Caffeine. 
Bye bye, Arena going straight for the overdrive. No wall break. Ah, catches the back dash and even juggles off of it. That was weird. That was crazy. That was crazy, man. Superb. Again, here we go though. Caffeine might be able to make a comeback. God gets landed up upon by uh yet again Arania. This is a set point. Let's see how this spins out. Again with the trade. <laughs> this time around Arania reads the back dash and goes for the five k the five eight. Caffeine first above the burst. Oh lord! Arania man! Oh lord! Gonna get the wall break. Okay, oh, here we go, the jump in by Caffeine. Can you get the counter hit? No, I manages to shimmy as well. Forever Illusion. Driver. Okay, Caffeine bring it back. Not out of it yet. Gets the juggle using the minion. This feels like a check situation. And gets hit by the minion. Okay, Caffeine still in it. Still does not want to let up. Good lord. Oh, good lord. Here we go, the corner pressure. Oh, good lord. And here we go with Arania getting the grab. Arania, oh, he's gonna get the wall break with the overdrive. This is looking very bad for Caffeine. Gonna have to, yeah, gonna have to deal with the wake up pressure. Good lord. Oh, oh lord. And here we go, the gold burst from Caffeine. If you want to make a comeback, this is your time. Oh, Lord. Arania going with the URC. He gets his feet scooped by the 2D. No entire. Oh, they're not no entire. Ah, and gets it by the minion, man. You hate to do it. You hate to be in. Daiwa versus Arania. This is the loser's final. The one who wins this one will have the privilege to fight against Tatsuma in Grand Final. Who is going to take it? I was going to say you decide, but absolutely not. You do not. The players decide who's gonna who's going to win as they are the ones in control. That being said, here we go with the start of the round and the Daiwa getting that precious knockdown. Couldn't quite get uh, anything out. Couldn't quite get anything more out of it. Did manage to uh, force Arania to pop the burst though. Oh. And here we go with Daiwan, man. Look at the damage. Good. Well, it's okay. It's decent now. Eh? But nice mixes, especially. Woo! Oh, Lord. Has the time to actually hit him with 2P. Okay. Here we go with, thankfully, the guard point on both characters, actually. I <laughs> gets hit by the minion. Tries to go for the cross up, but. Who has a little bit too far to connect? And this is over. Nice first round for Daiwa. Let's see if Arania can catch up to the pace. It's definitely, nah, it's definitely closest enough for uh, this match to be completely unpredictable. Oh, very nice. Kill of Dominion right there. Oh, Lord. And Arania on point with the Antires, man. Uh, here we go. <laughs> that was just going straight up to the other side of the room. Good lord. Got a close S, man. And this is going to kill. No, it's not. And, oh, but it did do a lot of damage. It was a ton of damage. And Arania with the take grab for the kill. And the perfect also. Quite the statement. And here at the start of the round 2k 2d. 2d didn't quite connect though. Oh lord! And yeah, they were having to, having to deal with the minion pressure, man. And the nice conversion off of the two S counter hit was on the verge of getting the wall break, the wall break. But yeah, Erin, I had to pop the burst. Oh, goes for the instant overhead. And I right now pressing buttons at the exact perfect timing. Good lord. Okay, here we go with the zoning time. 
And he is back. Oh lord. Good lord. Oh lord, it's so chaotic. And oh, Arnia managed to pop the two uh, to bait the birds, gets the jump in, and gets the kill. Good first match from Arnia takes the lead 1 0. A very small lead, that is. So it's still, it's still perfectly fine. Looking on to the next battle. Oh, and the shimmy from Arania definitely feeling himself right now. You can probably feel the momentum shifted, shifting back to him. But, just as I say this, common to your skirts. <laughs> Daiwa manages to, uh, to land a grab and reverse uh, the uh, momentum. Forces Arania to pop the burst also. Ah, good. Oh, and the conversion, man. <gasps> no, the confirms from Daiwa, man. That was huge. Huge 2S counter hit into the... Uh, into the... Uh, overdrive. And just like this, Daiwa manages to take the first round of the second match. On to the next battle. Quick burst from Daiwa. Does not want to deal with what... With uh, pressure whatsoever. Ah, unfortunately gets opened by Arania. And here we go with the tick throws, man. Arania not letting up, man. Not giving up. Arania back. Puts one around on the board. Good lord. And here with the jump in from Daiwa. Yeah, this is Schmick's time. You have to block low high, low high. Uh, good lord goes for the low this time around. Ah, uh, good lord. Ah, he went for the freaking shimmy, not the shimmy, the fuzzy. Good lord, and this is not gonna kill. The good stuff from Daiwa. Ah, uh, wants to get the jump in. Good lord, uh, what's going on? Uh, too far to get the wire, see the, uh, the, the ruin cancel off of it. Attack? Ah, uh, the freaking... Man, yeah, that was definitely on point with the minion extermination plan right here. Go to close S and getting the hit with the invite to hell. Good stuff from Daiwa puts one on the board. We have one match apiece, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to make his way to the to the uh, to the winners grand final. We shall see. Nice to KTD right there from Arania. And again with the knockdown. Oh, these just instant these instant block were sick. Good stuff from Daiwa. Pushed Arania out of any uh, out of any uh, pressure. And that was a huge jump in by Daiwa against the conversion. Gonna get the wall splat. Again with the jump in by Arena, man. It's definitely been very nice for him at that point. And the tick pressure is real. Daiwa finds the kill. Daiwa up one match in one round. Is he going to be able to make his way back to uh, back to Tatsumo? Sitting comfortably in the grand final, by the way. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, ah, yeah. Yeah, Arania is definitely checking you out. You cannot jump away from this man. Ooh, what the hell? Ooh. And this is, yeah. Arania forced to pop the burst. Wow, what layers were there? And here we go with Dio definitely showing his character mastery gets the kill. And takes the lead 2 to 0. What is Arania gonna do? This seems pretty one sided, not going to lie. And on to the next round, potential final set of this match. We shall see. Nice 2 S counter hit from Daiwa. Too far to get uh, the jumping scarab, as I call him. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, and here we go with Iowa getting the command grab. Not enough to kill though. Oh, but he did have the bar to extend it and goes for a safe setup in order to um, well seal the deal. And just like this, we are on set point. Aranya definitely needs uh, this one and uh, the next one in order to stay alive. Will Daiwa leave him and well, will Daiwa prevent him? We shall see. Nice grab from Daiwa. Found the gap in the pressure of Aranya. And this is looking pretty bad for Aranya. He's gonna have to deal with Eddie pressure right after wall break. Oh, and that air to air couldn't quite get the juggle. That being said, Aranya using YRC immediately to get out of harm's way. Again with the tick throw. Ah, but Daiwa had a gold burst of his own. Uh, gold burst. A YRC of his own. And just like this, Aki's final match of today, ladies and gentlemen. Dai Tatsuma versus Daiwa. Daiwa not from Taiwan, by the way. But from Japan. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, again, here we go. This is the grand final, ladies and gentlemen. Tatsuma just needs to win one set in order to uh, to win this tournament, whereas Daiwa needs to win two back to back. Let's see if Daiwa has what it takes to do so. We shall see. Nice back dash right there, but uh, unfortunately, got six speed by Daiwa. Thank you very much for the follow, Hamondi, and welcome to the Brojos. And wow, actually Daiwa managing to taking the first match with a perfect. That is quite the statement. Here we go the Fafnir. Good lord. Okay, Tatsuma kind of struggling finding his pace. His pace. That being said, he did manage to get two jumping back to back. One to uh, bait the burst and the other one to just continue his pressure. And this should be enough to kill. Yes, this is definitely enough to kill. Good lord. Good stuff from Tatsuma. Takes the second round. Ah, a big start of the round with the 4S, man. You hate to see it. Fafnir, you have to hold it. Ah, good use of Eddie right there, right after the gunflame expired. Oh, no. No punish right there from Tatsuma. I hope it doesn't come back to bite him. That being said, a very nice follow-up right there with the grab to switch places and keep Daiwa in the corner. Daiwa is uh, trying to make his way out of it, though. Obviously. Okay. Here we go, the invite help. Oh. oh, Lord. Daiwa a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too late on his use of the aerial grab right there. That being said, oh, look at the pressure. Look at that pressure, it's not over. That's my force to pop the burst, gets hit by the 6 beetle. Okay, here we go, the frog pinning Tatsuma out. <gasps> wow, this is huge. I uh, couldn't quite get anything out of it though. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. Oh, and now he got it by the overhead. This should be it. Not enough. Among Us, yeah, it wouldn't have been good either, I guess. And here we go, the jump in. Uh, oh, good lord, Tatsuma getting the grab. I tried to go for the fig grab, but the empty grab and still gets the jump in for the first kill of tonight. Of, uh, well, not of tonight, but but of this grand final. Good stuff, Tatsuma drawing first blood. Only needs two more matches in order to... Is Tenny and LK in this? Nah, they're not. I would have liked it, though. Uh, but they're not, no. And here we go, the Fafnir. Good lord! Ah! Here we go, Tatsuma. Trying to get that. Yeah! Oh, that nice jump in. Ah, gets the hit with the 2S counter hit, and this is death. Yes, it is. Tatsuma looking pretty good and pretty dominant, not going to lie. Let's get on to the second round of this uh, second match. Okay, Dio being a little bit more cautious on his anti airs and whatnot. Okay, and on back to the neutral. That's about trying, trying to catch Daiwa before Eddie comes back. Unfortunately, gets grabbed and uh, side switched. 
Go oh, the big DP right there from Tatsuma. Okay, here we go. The bar from Tatsuma finds the opening. Gets the grab. And here we go with Daiwa getting that overhead. What's next? We would fight the spikes. And a very nice stick right there from Tatsuma, reading the grab attempt from Zato. Thank you very much for the follow, Bedless Sleeper, and welcome to the build. And uh, good job for today. Oh, okay, and here we go with uh, the pressure from uh, Dio, unfortunately. Gets hit by Gabari from Tatsuma, standing K. And. We'll look at Dio, man. Ah, uh, no more life, and this is gonna be death. This is definitely death. This is definitely death. Good lord, and Tatsuma moving up to the zero, actually. What is Daiwa gonna do, man? One more chance. This might be tournament set, we shall see. Good lord. Oh, very nice experience there from Daiwa. Oh, no! Tatsuma double, probably double, uh, probably doubting himself right there. He could have ticked it, but oops. Ah, it was already followed. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Ah, thank you very much for the follow, Mephez. Yeah, I thought you were following too. <laughs> With the amount of, uh, yeah, of, um, what's it called? Of participation. I really thought you were actually, uh, you were already following, but it's cool, man. It's better late than never, definitely. And, but thanks you very much again for the follow, much appreciated. That being said, here we go with Daiwa trying to get out of the corner, successfully manages to do so. Here we go the spikes, man. Oh, and bye bye, Eddie, you hate to see it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Eddie's not here to help you. Nic Nicola Bro, thank you very much for the follow, and welcome to the Bro, Joe. Here we go the wall break. Yeah, I should periodically uh, advise, not advise, but. Um, Propose? Not propose. Um, ask? Not. Yeah, I suppose. That, wow, freak my life. I should like periodically say like, oh, feel free to follow the stream if you like it or stuff like this. Yeah, I always forget to say it. I'm like, yeah, follow who wants. Remind. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's starting to get pretty late. I'm not a native English speaker either, so my my head is like going, and I'm trying to commentate as this as I can right now, but my head is just not moving. <laughs> My brain is just not functioning correctly today, so yeah, I have I have problems expressing myself. But yeah, anyways, I should remind people like to follow periodically, but I'd never do it. I did, I'm I, I'm lazy. Imagine being multilingual and mixing up words. Exactly, that's exactly it, man. That's exactly it. And here we go with oh that maximum combo, and you go for the wild throw, and uh, just like this, Tatsuma is on a tournament point. Is he going to? Be able to seal the deal. You can speak three languages as well, though, and that's very impressive. Um, thank you very much. I'm much appreciated. I do have a long way to go, though, but I'm trying to get there eventually. Hopefully, very nice tick. Uh, very nice patient right there from Daiwa, recognizing that Tatsuma is going for a shimmy. Oh yeah, the blocks are real. No, Tatsuma get open. No wall break. No. Oh Lord, Lord, and very nice grab. That's on the verge of losing this one, but wakes up DP, goes for the Fafnir, goes for another Fafnir, goes for the grab, but oh, very nice awareness from Daiwa, this should be the end. Yes, it is. Okay, so Daiwa staying alive. Bring it back, bring it back, the heat. Let's see if he can seal, well, if he can actually manage to reset the bracket. Which would be, which would be very surprising. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Daiwa might have found something. Oh, yeah. oh, Lord, the forest, too, not far enough. Ah, oh, very nice area right there. Tatsuma did manage to... Ah, uh, well, at least... Yeah, well... Then, oh, no, didn't believe in it. Here we go, the jumping. Very nice jump in. Too far to get the grab right there. And goes for the bandit revolver. And this is going to result in a... Ah, he tried to read the burst. Yeah, that would have been huge if he did. Oh, nice use of the jumping HS right there too. Uh, it was probably S actually, not S. HS. To kill Eddie. Oh, that was an unfortunate burst. This That was definitely an unfortunate burst. Ah, no entire right there from Tatsuma. Uh, Tatsuma getting a little bit angsty, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Daiwa making a comeback ever so slightly. Okay, good stuff. Oh lord, almost got hit by the uh, the overhead though. Yeah. Oh, good stuff from Daiwa gets the grabs very consistently. Here we go with the two HS down. Uh, the two HS from Daiwa is gonna get the wall break. Ah, uh, Tatsuma, Tatsuma. What is he gonna do? Nice back dash. I uh, did get hit though. Oh, Lord, and this should do. Nope. Wow, it didn't do any damage. Daiwa san katte, Daiwa san sugoi no. Ah, and just like this, man, bring it back. One match at a time. Good stuff from Daiwa. Is he going to do. Is he going to cause a reset? That would be crazy. Very nice to get to do right there from Tetsuma. Did get the knockdown. Forced to pop the burst, though. Goes for the delayed bandit bringer in order to mess up the. Uh, the evasion timing of. Uh, of himself. Anyways, here we go. With, oh, Lord. That's my man. Getting the, the on the tournament point once again. Is that what going to be able to save it again? We shall see. Goes for the empty grab. Oh, no, no one. Oh, oh get the counter hit on the far slash. On the six uh, uh, S, actually. That's what definitely feeling himself. Oh, goes for the bandit bringer. Good Lord. Oh, good stuff. From Daiwa, nice and tired. Gonna get the wall break. That being said, Sol can definitely seal the deal with just one hit. Ah, oh, bandit revolver. Ah, oh, yeah. Nah, uh, tries to bait yet again. Goes for the grab and just like this. Atsuma takes it 3 to 2.